This drama begins by showing a housewife named Cha Jong Sook visiting a beauty clinic owned by her best friend, Baek Mi Hee. Jong Sook has been friends with Mi Hee since they were both in medical school, but Jong Sook reluctantly had to give up her dream of becoming a doctor due to pregnancy. Jong Sook successfully completed her residency and got her license to practice, but after getting married and having two children, Jong Sook chose to be a full-time housewife for more than 20 years. On the other hand, Mi Hee managed to become a doctor and set up a beauty clinic that is now one of the most famous beauty clinics in the city. After having a skin treatment at the beauty clinic, Jong Sook, who was about to return home by bus, immediately became panicked when a man suddenly became short of breath on the bus. Jong Sook intended to provide medical assistance, but since she had not worked as a doctor for more than 20 years, she was completely unable to think of any medical assistance when faced with the situation. Fortunately, an ambulance soon arrived to take the man to the hospital, but Jong Sook was asked to accompany the man because she had blurted out that she was a doctor. At the same time, a man named Roy Kim boarded the ambulance while saying that he was a surgeon. On the way to the hospital, the patient's condition suddenly deteriorated, so Roy Roy immediately performed medical assistance and managed to save his life. Upon arrival at the hospital, Roy then scolded Jong Sook for thinking that Jong Sook had lied about her profession as a doctor. However, Jong Sook assured Roy that she used to be a doctor, but she had not worked for more than 20 years, so she then panicked when faced with an emergency situation. Jong Sook then praised Roy because he managed to perform medical aid on time and save the patient's life. The scene then switches and shows Jong Sook's husband, So and Ho, who is secretly having an affair with his colleague, Choi Soong Hee. Both are doctors at Gusan University Hospital, and they are highly respected at the hospital. Although and Ho looks very affectionate with Soong Hee, he is always cold hearted and strict with his family. And Ho also imposed his will on his children and required his daughter, Yi Rang, to enroll in medical school. In addition, and Ho also criticized his son, Jong Min, about his appearance, because as a doctor, they should always look neat to look professional. Although Jong Sook and Inho's Ho's marriage seems harmonious and they still live in the same house, they have been separated for several years. That night, Jong Sook tried to persuade her husband to sleep in their room, even Jong Sook also tried to be intimate with her husband, but Inho Ho was so cold to her. Seeing her husband's cold attitude towards her, Jong Sook then became upset and left his room. Jong Sook didn't understand why Inho Ho had been cold to her for the past few years, even though she had tried to be a good and understanding wife. Jong Sook never even complained when she had to do all the housework, but Inho Ho never appreciated her. The next day, when Jong Sook was about to buy a new pair of sunglasses for her husband, she suddenly collapsed unconscious and was immediately taken to the emergency room. After waking up, Jong Sook then called In Ho who was at the airport, because he intended to go to Paris with Soong Hee to attend a conference. In Ho then asked about Jong Sook's condition, but because the doctor could not confirm Jong Sook's condition, In Ho decided to continue traveling to Paris with Soong Hee. On the other hand, Soong Hee, who saw In Ho looking uneasy, suggested that In Ho cancel their trip. However, and Ho prefers to go to Paris with Soong Hee instead of accompanying his wife who is hospitalized. And Ho even gives Soong Hee an expensive bracelet as a gift for this trip. Meanwhile, a resident doctor tells Jong Sook that she needs to be hospitalized immediately as she is suffering from acute hepatitis. Jong Sook then tries to contact her mother-in-law, A Sim, to be her guardian, but A Sim refuses to come because she has already booked a place at a luxury spa. Upon hearing that, Jong Sook then contacted her mother, Dok Rae, to ask her to come to the hospital, but Dok Rae was busy making rice cakes, so Jong Sook felt reluctant to tell her to come to the hospital. In the emergency room, Jong Sook was reminded of the past when she was a resident doctor treating patients. Jong Sook slightly regretted her decision to no longer work as a doctor because caring for people who were sick was a noble job. As Jong Sook was about to head to the hospital cafeteria on the fifth floor, she accidentally saw Roy Kim and a high school girl on the emergency stairs. Jong Sook thought that they were together and she intended to stop them because she thought it was inappropriate. But surprisingly, Roy turned out to be treating the high school girl because she had just been in an accident and didn't have the money to go to the hospital. Jong Sook then apologized for misunderstanding Roy and intended to go to see a doctor to check her health condition, but unexpectedly, Roy turned out to be the doctor. Roy told Jong Sook that she was suffering from acute hepatitis and she had to undergo intensive care at the hospital immediately. Upon learning that, Jong Sook then asked her mother to come to the hospital to be her guardian. A few days later, Roy explained to Jong Sook and her family that Jong Sook had to undergo liver transplant surgery immediately because her health condition was deteriorating. After conducting a thorough examination, Roy informed that Inho had a high enough compatibility to donate his liver to Jong Sook, especially since Inho also had a healthy liver. However, Inho's mother, A Sim, firmly refused if Inho had to donate his liver to Jong Sook. 
Asim did not even hesitate to voice her disapproval in front of Roy and her family, and told Jong Sook to wait for a donor from a brain dead patient because Asim thought that Jong Sook was not too dying to get a donor as early as possible. On the other hand, Dok Ray didn't expect that and Ho did nothing to stop his mother from cornering Jong Sook in front of her family, even though Jong Sook was seriously ill. Dok Ray tries to persuade her adoptive son, Jong Soo, to donate his liver to Jong Sook, but Jong Soo seems reluctant to donate his liver because he thinks of his family, even though Dok Ray has offered her considerable savings. At the hospital, Roy tries to comfort Jong Sook who feels guilty to her family for being a burden to them after being diagnosed with a chronic illness. Upon knowing that Jong Sook used to be a doctor, Roy then took Jong Sook to the operating room to observe the operation of a patient with a chronic disease and took some photos for a memento before entering the operating room. Meanwhile, Soong Yi envied Jong Sook because In Ho became more attentive to his wife after Jong Sook was hospitalized. Soong Yi then asked In Ho if he would do the same if she was hospitalized, but In Ho didn't make any comment. The following days, Jong Sook's condition worsens, while Jong Soo refuses to donate his liver, even his wife pleads with Dok Ray that Jong Soo should not donate his liver to Jong Sook because they are worried about their baby son's future. On the other hand, Jong Min and Irong try to persuade their father to donate his liver because they have no other donors because Jong Sook's condition is too critical to wait for a brain dead donor. And Ho, who doesn't want Jong Sook to die because she still has to take care of their children, reluctantly decides to donate his liver despite his mother's opposition. On the other hand, Soong Yi seems so angry and frustrated after learning that In Ho will donate his liver to Jong Sook. Soong Yi, who feels jealous of Jong Sook, tries to persuade In Ho to cancel the transplant operation, but In Ho has no choice because he wants to save the life of Jong Sook, who is the mother of his children. At the hospital, Dok Ray and Jong Sook were very grateful to In Ho because he was willing to donate his liver to Jong Sook. Jong Sook then tells In Ho that during their more than 20 years of marriage, she had hated In Ho in some ways, but now she feels very grateful that In Ho was willing to donate his liver for her. The next day, when In Ho was about to sign the consent document to perform the liver transplant surgery, A Sim suddenly appears and makes a scene in the hospital as she tries to stop In Ho from donating his liver to Jong Sook. Soon after that, Jong Sook underwent a liver transplant surgery which was handled directly by Roy and the surgery went successfully. A few hours later, Jong Sook had passed the critical period and the first thing she did after she woke up was cursing at her husband. Because before the operation Jong Sook had seen a sim making a scene at the hospital, and In Ho did nothing to stop his mother, as if he was expecting the commotion to happen because In Ho was actually reluctant to donate his liver to Jong Sook. After cursing In Ho, Jong Sook seemed so relieved to have expressed her resentment towards her husband that she had been harboring for years. Some time earlier, when In Ho was about to sign the consent document, he received a text message from Soong Yi begging him not to donate his liver to Jong Sook. So In Ho finally decided to cancel his intention to perform the liver transplant surgery. Surgery. Roy seemed surprised to hear that and he intended to persuade In Ho because Jong Sook's condition was already dying. However, a resident doctor informs Roy that a patient who was in an accident has been declared brain dead and he has checked the patient's compatibility with Jong Sook. After confirming that the patient had a high enough compatibility to be a donor, Roy immediately performed a transplant operation to save Jong Sook's life. A few days after Jong Sook returned home, A Sim told her to pick up A Sim's luxury bag at the department store, because she just bought a luxury bag that was said to be limited edition. Upon hearing that, Jong Sook then questioned A Sim about some luxury items that A Sim bought in the past few months, but A Sim argued that she just wanted to enjoy her life that might not be long. Soon after that, Jong Sook realized that her family, especially In Ho, never really cared about her, so Jong Sook decided to make herself happy by buying some luxury items using In Ho's credit card. At the hospital, and Ho looks so shocked after he gets a notification that Jong Sook has bought luxury items totaling more than 10 million won in one day. And Ho then calls Jong Sook to demand an explanation, but Jong Sook argues that in their more than 20 years of marriage, she has never once spent In Ho's money on herself. Even the luxury items she's gotten so far are second-hand items that belong to Asim. Jong Sook also adds that from now on she will live her life without thinking about others and do whatever she wants. On the other hand, Mi Yi who was having lunch with Jong Sook, then praised Jong Sook for having the courage to reveal her concerns that she has been holding back for years. Jong Sook told Mi Yi that previously, she felt her life was perfect because her husband was an elite doctor at a very prestigious university hospital and she also had two good and smart children. However, after she managed to come back from the brink of death, Jong Sook realized that all of that meant nothing. Later that night, Jong Sook went to An Ho who was sleeping in his room and suddenly slapped him. An Ho who woke up then asked Jong Sook why she suddenly slapped him, but Jong Sook only said that she was jealous of An Ho's smooth skin. 
Upon realizing that Jung Sook had been acting strangely lately and Ho then thought that Jung Sook's mental health might be a little disturbed after being on the verge of death and undergoing a very risky surgery. Therefore, and Ho told Jung Sook to do whatever she wanted, including shopping reasonably and relaxing without the need to do household chores so that Jung Sook could focus more on recovering her post-surgery condition. Because Ho had allowed her to do whatever she wanted, Jung Sook began to behave as she pleased, even deliberately not making breakfast for her family. Shortly afterward, Jung Sook visited her mother who then advised her to do things that made her feel happy. Since Jung Sook used to be happiest when she was studying, she became interested in studying Jung Min's medical books and felt excited when she realized that she had a pretty good memory. A few days later, when Jung Sook was about to go drinking wine with me, he a sim questioned Jung Sook's luxury bag which was exactly the same as the limited edition bag she bought at the department store. A sim thought that Jung Sook bought an imitation, but Jung Sook revealed to A sim that she bought the bag at the same store where she got A sim's bag, so it was the real thing. While drinking wine together, Mii tells Jung Sook about Soongyi who used to be in Ho's lover during college. Soongyi and Ho were the most famous couple on campus, and everyone thought that they would eventually get married. But unexpectedly, and Ho got Jung Sook pregnant and chose to leave Soongyi so that he could marry Jung Sook, and the marriage has been going on for more than 20 years now. Jung Sook then told Mii about the beginning of his relationship with and Ho which led to her getting pregnant and having to finish her final year at college in a heavily pregnant state. Upon hearing that, Mii told Jung Sook that she and the others felt sorry for Soongyi because and Ho had betrayed her, but on the other hand, Mii also admired and Ho for being responsible by marrying Jung Sook. However, unbeknownst to Jung Sook and Mii, and Ho and Soongyi secretly rekindled their romance when they accidentally met in the United States. The relationship continues to this day, and and Ho seems to love Soongyi who is his first love more than Jung Sook who is his legal wife. The next day, Jung Sook went to In Ho at the hospital to ask In Ho to put her name on the house ownership letter. However, In Ho tells Jung Sook that he can't make that decision alone, since he also got the house as an inheritance from his father. But Jung Sook seemed to ignore In Ho's reasoning and told In Ho to consider it and give his decision as soon as possible. Shortly afterward, Jung Sook intended to visit Jung Min who was interning at the hospital, but he saw Jung Min being scolded by his senior, Jung So Ra, so Jung Sook decided not to disturb them. When she was about to leave, Jung Sook accidentally met Roy who had just met someone at the hospital. Jung Sook then thanked Roy for saving her life. On that occasion, Roy asked for Jung Sook's phone number because he intended to send Jung Sook photos that he took when they were about to observe a patient's surgery at the hospital some time ago. Roy then suggested that Jung Sook return to work as a doctor after Jung Sook expressed her opinion that being a doctor is a noble job. Later that night, Jung Sook seems to consider Roy's suggestion to return to work as a doctor while unpacking her old belongings from when she was still undergoing her residency at the hospital. On the other hand, In Ho tries to discuss the ownership of the house with his mother, but A Sim flatly refuses if In Ho includes Jung Sook's name in the ownership letter because the house is inherited from In Ho's father. Shortly afterward, In Ho then told Jung Sook that he couldn't put Jung Sook's name on the house ownership papers because his mother refused to do so. Upon hearing that, Jung Sook then expressed her desire to become a resident doctor to In Ho. But In Ho told Jung Sook to cancel her intention because Jung Sook was old and had just undergone liver transplant surgery which made her have to take immunosuppressant drugs regularly. However, after seeing Jung Sook who seemed really serious about becoming a resident doctor, In Ho then allowed Jung Sook to take the resident exam this year, even though he was sure Jung Sook would fail the exam. The next day, A Sim intends to explain her reasons for refusing Jung Sook to be included in the ownership of the house while trying to persuade Jung Sook by giving Jung Sook her car. But Jung Sook refused because she didn't want to be controlled by her mother-in-law. After having lunch with A Sim, Jung Sook went to the bookstore to buy medical books and started studying diligently to prepare for the resident assessment exam that would be held in the next hundred days. Jung Sook was able to do the exam questions smoothly, and surprisingly, she managed to get a score of 49, even higher than Jung Min who only got a score of 45. After successfully getting a good score in the resident assessment exam, Jung Sook then tried to apply to become a resident doctor at Gusan University Hospital, and happened to apply in the same department as Soonghee. Soonghee then informs Inho about it, and Inho looks so shocked because he didn't expect Jung Sook to get a good score in the resident assessment exam and apply to their hospital. Upon hearing that, Inho intended to stop his wife who was about to have an interview at the hospital. But he was too late, as Jung Sook had already arrived at the interview and met Jung Min who was very surprised as he didn't expect his mother to have a resident interview, just like him. 
During the interview, some of the doctors mentioned Jong Sook's age and that Jong Sook had a liver transplant and had to take immunosuppressant drugs. They questioned Jong Sook's physical condition which might be a major obstacle during her training as a resident doctor. Therefore, they decided to eliminate Jong Sook from the list of resident doctor candidates. After the interview, Jong Min asks his mother about her seriousness to become a resident doctor at the hospital. Because it means Jong Sook will be working at the same hospital as In Ho, even though In Ho has always kept his wife a secret from his colleagues. Jong Min is also worried about Jong Sook's health condition because Jong Sook will become more susceptible to infection if she works at the hospital. However, Jong Sook told Jong Min to worry about her if she had been accepted to work at the hospital. Soon after that, Jong Sook visits Soong Hee in her office and blatantly tells Soong Hee that she applied to the family medicine department after seeing Soong Hee's name on the website. Jong Sook had intended to work in the same department as Soong Hee since In Ho had been keeping it a secret that he worked at the same hospital as Soong Hee. In the afternoon, Jong Sook gets a call from the hospital informing him that she was not accepted to work at Gusan University Hospital because she was too old and weak to be a resident doctor. While having dinner, Jong Min suggests that Jong Sook apply to other smaller hospitals because Gusan University Hospital is a very prestigious hospital so the competition to become a resident doctor at the hospital is quite high. On the other hand, and Ho seems overjoyed after learning that Jong Sook was eliminated from the list of resident doctors who will be working at his hospital, because it indicates that he doesn't have to worry about his affair with Soong Hee. The next day, Jong Sook intended to take a holiday with Mihi out of town. But while they were at the airport, Jong Sook got a call from the family medicine department of Gusan University Hospital that she was accepted to work as a resident doctor in the department. On the first day of work, Jong Sook got to know her colleagues, Ki Yeon and Do Gyeom who were both just starting their residency in the family medicine department. Do Gyeom was a kind and polite young man, but Ki Yeon was an outspoken girl, who even openly told Jong Sook that she hated people who were respect crazy just because they were older than her. Soon after that, Soong Yi seemed so shocked to find out that the head of family medicine department, Dr. Lim, decided to accept Jong Sook as a resident doctor in their department because she previously took a two-day leave, so Dr. Lim didn't have time to discuss it with her. On the other hand, and Ho was also very shocked when he found out that his wife was accepted to work in the same department as Soong Yi who was his mistress. Soong Yi then urged and Ho to solve the problem while threatening to leave and Ho if and Ho could no longer control his wife. And Ho tried to call Jong Sook, but Jong Sook switched off her mobile phone while working, and and Ho instead got an email notification about Roy Kim who moved to Gusan University Hospital and has joined the surgery department. Upon knowing that, and Ho immediately rushed to Roy in his office and warned Roy to keep the fact that Jong Sook was his wife a secret because he had never discussed his wife to his colleagues at the hospital. In addition, In Ho also asked Roy to persuade Jong Sook to quit the residency. In Ho argued that he was worried about Jong Sook's health condition who had just undergone liver transplant surgery. However, Roy says that he will support Jong Sook's decision to be motivated to become a doctor again while telling In Ho that he will check Jong Sook's health condition regularly, especially now that they work at the same hospital, so it will be easier for Roy to keep an eye on Jong Sook. Meanwhile, Jong Sook had to handle a patient from the VIP ward, Mr. Oh, who had to undergo an endoscopy due to his chronic illness. As a VIP patient, Mr. Oh seemed unhappy that it was a first-year resident doctor who came to treat him, but Jong Sook gently explained all the procedures that Mr. Oh would undergo during his treatment at the hospital, so Mr. Oh didn't mind too much. On the other hand, Soong Yi protests to Dr. Lim for accepting Jong Sook without first discussing it with her. However, Dr. Lim argues that he is the head of the department, so he has the right to decide something absolutely, especially if the decision can affect the reputation of their hospital. At the same time, a doctor informs them that the resident doctor who was going to be sent to the surgery department as a favor decided to resign after finding out that she was pregnant. Upon hearing that, Soong Yi then recommends Jong Sook to the surgery department to replace the resident doctor. Shortly afterward, and Ho and Jong Min seem surprised to learn that Jong Sook will be working in the surgery department for a while, and they immediately become awkward with each other. Fortunately, So Ra who introduced Jong Sook to them was not suspicious of the sudden awkwardness between the three of them. Jong Sook is then assigned to handle the patients in the emergency department, and Jong Sook tries to do her job as best as she can because she doesn't want to inconvenience others. Even so, Jong Sook seemed quite overwhelmed after a few hours of working with patients, so An Ho then secretly took her to the emergency stairs and tried to persuade Jong Sook to stop working. However, Jong Sook insisted on continuing her residency at the hospital, and warned An Ho to keep his distance from her if An Ho didn't want his colleagues to find out that Jong Sook was his wife. 
During lunch, Jong Min told his mother that he was worried about Jong Sook's physical condition if she insisted on continuing her residency, but Jong Sook assured Jong Min that she felt very healthy and capable of becoming a resident doctor. Upon knowing that Jong Sook was quite stubborn if she had decided something in her life, Jong Min could only support his mother's decision and told Jong Sook not to feel reluctant to ask him for help if Jong Sook had difficulty doing her job. In the evening, while going home, Jong Sook accidentally met Roy and they decided to have coffee together. Roy blatantly asked when Jong Sook would get a divorce because he knew that Jong Sook and Inho's marriage was in trouble, especially since Inho also seemed to ignore Jong Sook when Jong Sook was hospitalized. However, Jong Sook emphasized that divorce is not something easy, especially since she has two children and she also has to consider other things. Jong Sook then asked Roy why he wasn't married, but Roy revealed to Jong Sook that he was a US citizen because he was adopted from an orphanage when he was a child. Jung Sook thought that Roy was joking about his past because he seemed to be playing a prank on her, but Roy replied ambiguously. Roy then told Jung Sook to go home immediately because Jung Sook looked so tired. Upon arriving home, Asim reprimanded Jung Sook because she had neglected her duties as a housewife and made Inho and Jung Min feel uncomfortable because Jung Sook worked at the same hospital as them. In addition, Lee Rong also protests to her mother because Jung Sook is showing favoritism by ignoring her, even though Lee Rong is now in the third year of high school and really needs attention and support from her mother to prepare for college. Jung Sook and Lee Rong then got into an argument until Lee Rong chose to go to her room. Irong, who was upset with her mother, sent a text message to her friend Eun So, who turned out to be Sung Hee's daughter. After the quarrel with Irong, Jung Sook was also involved in a quarrel with Inho, who finally allowed Jung Sook to continue her residency at the hospital as long as Jung Sook was willing to keep their marriage a secret from their colleagues and never ask Inho for any favors. Inho also added that he would treat Jung Sook like any other resident doctor, so he told Jung Sook to prepare herself. Surprisingly, Jung Sook expected that from Inho and thanked Inho because he finally approved of her decision to become a resident doctor. The next day, Jung Sook is almost late for work, and Inho deliberately closes the lift door to prevent Jung Sook from getting on. Fortunately, Roy arrived just in time to hold the lift door open for Jung Sook to board. Upon realizing that Jung Sook was arguing with her husband, Roy deliberately told Jung Sook to do outpatient care because he would check her health condition after the liver transplant surgery. And Jung Sook responded enthusiastically as if she deliberately wanted to make Inho jealous of Roy. Even so, Inho then retaliates against Jung Sook by asking her difficult questions during their briefing so that he can embarrass Jung Sook in front of Jung Min and the others. After the briefing, So Ra scolds Jung Min severely for not being able to answer Inho's question. Upon hearing that, Jung Sook then quietly approaches Jung Min after So Ra leaves and tries to encourage him who looks frantic after being scolded by So Ra. But unbeknownst to them, So Ra accidentally sees Jung Min and Jung Sook's closeness and thinks that Jung Sook is flirting with Jung Min. On the other hand, an hotel soon to make Jung Sook feel uncomfortable working as a resident doctor at their hospital because the job is very draining both physically and mentally. So Inho believes that Jung Sook will eventually not be able to continue her work if they continue to corner her and make her work under pressure. Later that evening, the surgery department organizes a drinks event to welcome Roy and the resident doctors. And Ho is initially about to refuse and intends to prevent Jong Sook from going to the drinks, but Jong Sook and the others have already gathered in the lobby, and they prepare to leave. At the tavern, Roy reminds Jong Sook not to drink too much alcohol because she just underwent liver transplant surgery, but on the other hand, and Ho seems jealous of their closeness, especially when Jong Sook looks happy while chatting with Roy. Elsewhere, Asim tries to persuade Dok Ray to convince Jung Sook to stop working at the hospital, because Asim is worried that Jung Sook will ruin In Ho's career and future at the hospital if Jung Sook insists on continuing her residency. However, Dok Ray refused to persuade Jung Sook because she supported Jung Sook's decision to return to work as a doctor, especially since Jung Sook also felt happy with her decision. At the tavern, Jung Sook couldn't help but laugh when she overheard In Ho's conversation with his colleagues who praised In Ho as an ideal husband. Upon hearing that, Jung Sook burst out laughing, even Roy also tried to refrain from laughing because he knew the truth. Thinking that his mother was drunk, Jung Min then told Jung Sook to drink a lot of water to relieve the hangover. On the other hand, So Ra who saw their closeness, then felt annoyed and told Jung Min to grill the meat. At the same time, the head of the surgical department, Dr. Yoon, asks Jung Sook about her husband. Surprisingly, Jung Sook tells everyone that her husband is dead, which makes Inho so shocked that he accidentally spills the beer he's drinking towards Dr. Yoon. Roy who heard this could barely contain his laughter, while Jung Min accidentally touched the grill in front of him because he was too shocked to hear his mother's statement. 
After the drinking event, Jung Sook deliberately hitchhiked on Roy who was driving a motorbike because she felt annoyed at Inho. Fortunately, Roy understood that and allowed Jung Sook to ride. On the way home, Jung Sook suddenly felt like throwing up from drinking too much, so they decided to pull over for a while and visit a park to relieve the hangover. Jung Sook then thanks Roy for putting up with her silliness tonight, and Roy chooses to keep the secret about her family even though Roy knows the truth. On the other hand, Jung Min and So Ra are secretly dating, and they often make out in the resident dormitory. Roy then asked Jung Sook why she kept her marriage with In Ho, and Jung Sook replied that In Ho wasn't really a bad person, especially since In Ho treated her very well during the early years of their marriage. However, after living together for a while, Jung Sook realized that the love between them started to fade, and the gratitude started to disappear. Jung Sook also added that the love between husband and wife would eventually fade away and no longer burn like the years of their marriage. Even so, Roy told Jung Sook that couples should still respect each other even if they no longer love each other. Since Jung Sook didn't make any comments, Roy realized that he had said something offensive to Jung Sook and immediately apologized. However, Jung Sook chose not to make an issue of it and invited Roy to go home immediately. The next morning, Yi Rong found a letter written by Jung Sook who tried to apologize and explain everything to Yi Rong through the letter. At the hospital, Jung Sook deliberately makes breakfast for Jung Min and tells Jung Min to eat the dish immediately, but So Ra arrives and finishes the dish instead because it tastes so delicious. Meanwhile, A Sim hires a housemaid to do the housework, but she's so fussy and complains about things that the housemaid can't meet A Sim's standards and decides to resign. Jung Sook, who gets the news that the maid has decided to quit, panics and accidentally makes a mistake, which leads So Ra to scold her severely in front of the hospital staff, including Jung Min. Jung Min tries to persuade So Ra to be kind to Jung Sook, who is much older than them. But So Ra thinks that she's not making any mistake by scolding Jung Sook or the other resident doctors if they make mistakes because she's responsible for guiding them. Shortly afterward, Jung Min tries to cheer up Jung Sook who looks upset after being scolded by So Ra, and Jung Sook then tells Jung Min to massage her nape. Meanwhile, Dok Rae accidentally meets A Sim at Mihi's beauty clinic when they're about to have a beauty treatment at the same time. Dok Rae argues that Jung Min gave her a voucher to have a beauty treatment at the clinic as a birthday present for her, and she feels bad if she refuses the gift. Dok Rae then asks Mihi to check the brown spots on her back, and Mihi suggests that Dok Rae do a biopsy at a big hospital. Dok Rae asks Mihi to keep her condition a secret from Jung Sook because she doesn't want to burden Jung Sook and make her worry. On his way home, Dok Rae sees a sim who is picked up by an older gentleman, and they look intimate with each other. At the hospital, Jung Sook gives her homemade gimbap to Roy as an expression of gratitude for Roy taking her home last night. They then agreed to have lunch together at the canteen, and Jung Sook asked Roy to go to the canteen first, as she was going to check on a patient. At the canteen, Soon Yi almost slipped when someone accidentally bumped into her, but fortunately, Roy arrived in time to help her. Since working at the hospital, Roy soon became the talk of the doctors and staff because of his handsome face and well-built body like a model. Shortly afterward, Jung Sook arrived at the canteen and immediately approached Roy who had been waiting for her to have lunch together. At the same time, Soon Yi and Ho who were also in the canteen looked shocked as they had not expected that the handsome and charming Roy was so close to Jung Sook. Soon after that, Jung Min became overwhelmed as Jung Sook repeatedly called him for help, while he was also busy doing his job at the emergency department. In the evening, Jung Min reprimanded his mother because Jung Sook was burdening him, even though he was already quite overwhelmed with his work. They then got into an argument, and Jung Sook, who was angry at Jung Min, left. Jung Min, who felt guilty for going too far with his mother, sent a text message to apologize, as well as sending a video link from a YouTube channel that could make it easier for Jung Sook to do her job as a resident doctor. The next day, Jung Sook had to handle a terminally ill patient named Hae Nam who was a life prisoner. Hae Nam was sentenced to life imprisonment after she deliberately poisoned her husband to kill him. Unexpectedly, Hae Nam refused to do treatment because she had resigned herself to her fate of being a prisoner for life, so Jung Sook tried to persuade her so that Hae Nam would be willing to be treated. On the other hand, Mr. Oh suddenly went berserk in his room after he was informed that he would be undergoing colostomy surgery which has months to lifelong implications. Mr. Oh looked so frustrated, but Jung So could do nothing but keep Mr. Oh company as she listened to his complaints with great care. 
Soon after that, Jung Sook was assigned to handle a patient who had a problem with his lungs. After examining the patient's condition, Jung Sook realized that she had to put in a chest tube as the patient started having trouble breathing. However, Jung Sook had never placed a chest tube before, and her colleague told her to ask for help from a more senior resident doctor or a more professional surgeon than them, as it was very risky. As the patient's condition worsens, Jung Sook is finally forced to ask for help from In Ho who reluctantly helps Jung Sook. At the same time, So Ra arrives and she seems surprised to find out that Inho is willing to bother handling patients in the emergency department, even though the patient is the responsibility of the resident doctors. On the other hand, the nurses seem to be talking about Jung Sook and Inho who seem to be close as if they are having a secret romance. They also get more suspicious when Inho comes straight to the emergency department after getting a call from Jung Sook. Later that night, Hei Nam tells Jung Sook that she doesn't need to care about her because Hei Nam has lost her hope of living and wants to end her life immediately with the severe illness she has. Hei Nam tells Jung Sook to help people who deserve to be saved because their lives are much more valuable than her who is a murderer. Not only Hei Nam, Mr. Oh also tells Jung Sook that he intends to go to the United States for treatment at one of the biggest hospitals in the country because he's not willing to get treatment at their hospital. Jung Sook tried to persuade Mr. Oh that going to the United States would not guarantee that Mr. Oh would undergo a different surgery because their hospital was also of international standard. So it was likely that Mr. Oh would also get similar treatment in the United States. Even so, Mr. Oh insisted on going to the US for treatment and told Jung Sook to leave his room. Jung Sook then told Roy that her patients refused to take the treatment for various reasons and she was desperate because she could not persuade them. Upon hearing that, Roy then encouraged Jung Sook by saying that persuading is an act that deals with the heart, and Roy considered that Jung Sook was far more skilled in matters dealing with the heart than other doctors. The next day, Roy visited the orphanage where he grew up to find clues about his biological parents. An orphanage caretaker then advised Roy to register his DNA with the police station and inform them of his purpose, as the police would usually help children from orphanages to find their biological families. Meanwhile, Irong invited Eun So to have lunch at her house as Jung Sook had cooked a delicious meal for them. Jung Sook seems surprised when Eun So tells her that her mother is also a doctor working in the family medicine department, and then asks about Eun So's mother. However, Irong tells her mother not to interrogate Eun So who seems reluctant to answer any questions about her mother. Irong then asks about her father, and Jung Sook replies that Inho is off to indoor golfing. Upon hearing that, Unso comments that indoor golfing is a place that people often use to make out with their mistresses. Unso said that because she found out that her mother was alone with Inho at indoor golfing. Soon after that, Jung Sook thought about Unso's words, but she tried not to be suspicious of her husband, and distracted her mind about Inho's affair by doing household chores. However, when Jung Sook is cleaning up Inho's clothes, she accidentally finds a receipt for a diamond bracelet worth more than 5 million won. Jung Sook then asks Say Sim, but her mother-in-law denies that she bought the diamond bracelet. Later that night, Jung Sook confronts Inho about it, but Inho lies to her by saying that he bought the diamond bracelet for Jung Sook's birthday gift and he intended to surprise her, even though Inho actually gifted the diamond bracelet to Soong Hee. Shortly afterward, Jung Sook asked Inho about Soong Hee, but Inho pretended not to know anything about Soong Hee and admitted that they rarely met despite working at the same hospital. The next day, Jung Sook goes to Soong Hee in her office to apologize to Soong Hee for making Soong Hee hurt and suffer for so many years. Jung Sook initially wanted to apologize to Soong Hee immediately, but she felt so guilty towards Soong Hee that she didn't have the courage to confront Soong Hee for taking An Ho away from Soong Hee. Soong Hee seemed surprised that Jung Sook suddenly apologized to her, but Soong Hee then told Jung Sook that she had forgiven Jung Sook and was no longer concerned about it. Soon after that, Jung Sook gets information that Mr. Oh, who just got out of the hospital, suddenly collapsed in the car and is currently in critical condition and being handled by So Ra in the emergency department. So Ra attempted to perform CPR repeatedly to save Mr. Oh's life, but it didn't yield any results. When So Ra decides to give up, Jung Sook, who cares deeply for Mr. Oh, is determined to save Mr. Oh's life and starts performing CPR. At the same time, Jung Sook sees An Ho and Soon Hee's closeness outside the room, and her attention becomes distracted, so she accidentally touches the high-voltage defibrillator and causes her to collapse unconscious. And Ho, who saw the incident, immediately rushed Jung Sook to the treatment room so that she could receive immediate help. On the other hand, Soong Hee, who felt jealous because Inho was so attentive to his wife, then took off the diamond bracelet from Inho and put it in a drawer. On her way back to work, Jung Sook accidentally bumped into Soong Hee and she tried to confirm that Soong Hee had the diamond bracelet bought by Inho. 
However, since Soong Hee had already put the bracelet in the drawer, Jung Sook thought that she was just hallucinating when she saw Soong Hee wearing the diamond bracelet. At the same time, Soong Hee gets a phone call from Moon So, and Jung Sook finally learns that Soong Hee has a daughter. Meanwhile, Roy reprimands the hospital staff for laughing at Jung Sook for the incident in the emergency department that made her faint. Roy intends to send a message to Jung Sook to ask about her condition, but he hesitates because he doesn't want to disturb Jung Sook who is working to treat patients. On the other hand, Jung Sook visits Mr. Oh who has regained consciousness after experiencing sudden cardiac arrest a few hours ago. Mr. Oh tells Jung Sook that he will undergo surgery at the hospital. Mr. Oh then asked about Jung Sook's condition because he apparently found out that Jung Sook fainted while trying to save his life. Mr. Oh apparently experienced a supernatural event when he was on the verge of death so he could know everything that happened, including when his secretary referred to him as the old geezer and his children who never cared about him and only thought about his money. Therefore, Mr. Oh decided to undergo surgery at the hospital and asked Jung Sook to arrange the date. Shortly afterward, Jung Sook visits Hae Nam who tells her that she cried tears of joy when she found out about her chronic illness because she never had the courage to take her own life even though she had taken the life of other. Later that night, Iran tries to explain to her mother about her preparations for university but Jung Sook falls asleep so Iran gets upset and tells Jung Sook to get out of her room. Shortly afterward, An Ho gave Jung Sook the diamond bracelet he had promised so that Jung Sook would no longer suspect his affair with Soon Hee. On that occasion, An Ho also discusses Yi Rong and asks Jung Sook to take a one year residency leave so that she can focus more on helping Yi Rong prepare because Yi Rong will soon graduate from high school. Jung Sook also thought about a leave of absence, but she still had to consider many things before making the decision. The next day, Jung Sook was excited because she finally got her first salary and she decided to send some money to her mother and then buy gifts for her family. Jung Sook also gave a gift to Mr. Oh, whose condition was starting to improve after undergoing surgery. Mr. Oh seems to be touched that Jung Sook is so concerned about him, even though his family doesn't care about him at all, they never even come to visit him. On her way home, Soon Hee accidentally bumped into Jung Sook in the lift, and she noticed that Jung Sook was wearing the same diamond bracelet that In Ho had given her. An upset Soon Hee confronts In Ho when they meet at a restaurant for dinner, but In Ho tries to calm Soon Hee down and tells her that Jung Sook almost found out about their affair when she accidentally found the receipt for the diamond bracelet. On the way home, Soon Hee decides to pick Eun So up, but Eun So seems upset because she was with Yi Rong. Upon arriving home, an angry Eun So confronts her mother about the fact that she's the mistress daughter who can't call In Ho as her father, even though she's In Ho's biological father, just like Yi Rong. Soon he tries to explain to Eun So, but Eun So corners her mother because Soon he was too naive to trust In Ho, even though In Ho never told her that he would divorce Jung Sook. The next day, Soon he started trying to overwhelm Jung Sook by giving her some work to do that day, and she was also seen wearing the diamond bracelet again. A few days later, Jung Sook experienced a nosebleed, so Roy immediately checked her condition, especially after Jung Sook revealed that she had forgotten to take immunosuppressant drugs for a few days. Roy then warned Jung Sook to never forget or miss taking immunosuppressant drugs, because if left unchecked, her liver would be damaged again. Soon after that, So Ra blatantly asked Jung Sook about her relationship with An Ho because rumors that they were dating had spread in the hospital. Jung Sook seems surprised by the question, but she immediately denies that she's involved in a romantic relationship with An Ho. When Hae Nam is about to undergo a series of examinations to confirm her condition, the policewoman asks Jung Sook to keep an eye on Hae Nam since she's not feeling well and can't stand up. Jung Sook agrees, but she asks the policewoman to uncuff Hae Nam because her wrists are injured from being handcuffed for too long. At the same time, Soon Hee told Jung Sook to get her research journal right away, even though Jung Sook was about to take Hae Nam to the radiology room. Jung Sook tries to convince Soon Hee that she should prioritize patients, but Hae Nam then takes advantage of the opportunity when Jung Sook is off guard and runs away from the hospital. Jung Sook immediately panics when she learns that Hae Nam has escaped, and she immediately informs the other doctors. Hae Nam apparently intended to visit her old house because she wanted to see it one last time. Fortunately, Hae Nam was found by a taxi driver who then drove her to the police station because he thought that Hae Nam was a dementia patient. Even though Hae Nam was found and she wasn't hurt at all, Jung Sook was severely scolded by her superiors for her negligence in taking care of Hae Nam, especially since she also asked the policewoman to uncuff Hae Nam. Dr. Lin then advised Jung Sook to resign immediately as she had caused quite a lot of trouble since she worked as a resident doctor at the hospital. 
On her way home, Jong So confides in Roy about the trouble she had at the hospital earlier today, and Jong So considers resigning from her job as a resident doctor. Roy advises Jong So that she should really consider everything before making a decision, saying that he will support whatever Jong So decides as long as it makes her happy. The next day, Jong So meets Mr. Oh who has fully recovered and is preparing to go home. Mr. Oh welcomed Jong So happily, but Jong So looked sad, so Mr. Oh told her to tell him everything. Jong So tells Mr. Oh that she intends to quit her job because she's too old and stupid at the same time so she often makes mistakes. However, Mr. Oh then encourages Jong So, which makes Jong So feel touched because Mr. Oh reminds her of her deceased father, especially since the way Mr. Oh encourages her is exactly the same way her father encouraged her when he was alive. Soon after that, Jong So goes to Inho to tell him that she intends to resign from her job at the hospital. Inho seemed both relieved and happy when he heard that, so he then informs Soong Yi about Jong So's intention to resign. After solidifying her intention to quit her job, Jong So then went to Dr. Lim to convey her intention. But unexpectedly, Dr. Lim took her to the conference room because the hospital director called her. In the conference room, the hospital director is holding a 10 billion won donation event, and Mr. Oh, the donor, makes a speech on the podium while thanking In Ho and Roy for operating on him. Surprisingly, Mr. Oh mentions that Jong Sook was the one who did the most for him during his treatment at the hospital. Mr. Oh revealed that Jong Sook was so attentive to him and sincerely comforted him when he was down due to his health condition. In addition, Jong Sook has also shown care and affection to him unconditionally, even her affection for him exceeds the care and affection from his family. Therefore, Mr. Oh confirmed that he would withdraw his 10 billion won donation if Jong Sook resigned from the hospital, and he would conduct regular reviews to ensure that Jong Sook was still working at the hospital. Mr. Oh also added that he would always support Jong Sook to become a specialist doctor, even a professor, and fund Jong Sook's research if she intends to write a research journal someday. Since Mr. Oh had been so kind and considerate to her, even he would always support her to continue her career in medicine, Jong Sook decided to continue her work as a resident doctor at the hospital. Inho looks so upset because Jong Sook undoes her intention to quit her job, while Soong Yi continues to urge him to persuade Jong Sook that she resigns from her job because Soong Yi feels sick of having to work in the same hospital as Jong Sook. On the other hand, Hei Nam's health condition was getting worse, but she still refused to be treated, even though Jong Sook had tried to persuade her repeatedly. When seeing Jong Sook who is so attentive to her, Hei Nam remembers her daughter and tells Jong Sook a little about her past. Shortly afterward, Jong Sook asked Mihi for help in finding Hei Nam's daughter, Yong Long, who was said to be working as a doctor. Mihi initially refused to help Jong Sook, but after she met Roy, Mihi told Jong Sook to meet her with Roy as naturally and as soon as possible if Jong Sook wanted to get information about Yong Long. A few days later, Jong Sook went to the clinic where Yong Long worked as a doctor and told her about Hei Nam's deteriorating health condition because she refused to be treated. Jong Sook thought that Yong Long hated her mother because Yong Long didn't seem to want to deal with Hei Nam anymore. But surprisingly, Yong Long revealed to Jong Sook that she was the one who had poisoned her father's food because she wanted to be free from her abusive father who always tortured her, and her mother. Yong Long felt very guilty to her mother because Hei Nam had to bear her guilt for the rest of her life, but Yong Long never had the courage to apologize to Hei Nam. After a medical checkup at the hospital, Dok Ray was relieved that Soong Yi had confirmed that the mole on her back was not cancerous. On the other hand, A Sim is diagnosed with thyroid cancer, but Jong Sook and Inho ensure that A Sim will make a full recovery and be able to resume her usual activities after undergoing surgery. The next day, Jong Sook undergoes a disciplinary committee hearing for her negligence that caused Hei Nam to escape from the hospital. After some consideration, the hospital director decides on a three month salary cut as a punishment for Jong Sook, because if they fire Jong Sook, then Mr. Oh will withdraw the 10 billion won donation. Shortly afterward, Yong Long comes to the hospital because she intends to see her mother. Jong Sook seems very relieved and happy that Yong Long is finally willing to come to see her mother, and she then takes Yong Long to see Hei Nam. Yong Long couldn't hold back her tears as she reunited with her mother after a long time. On the other hand, Hei Nam also looked so moved because she was finally able to meet her beloved daughter again. Some time later, Jong Sook handles a patient named Ji Son who has cancer, but she refuses to undergo surgery because she wants to wait for her fetus in the womb to reach 2 kilograms. Despite opposition from her father, Ji Son insisted on giving birth to the baby and refused to reveal the identity of the baby's father to anyone, including her parents. Ji Son's father, Mr. Yu, then went to Jong Sook and expressed his intention to hand over the baby to an orphanage because he did not want the 20 year old Ji Son to become a mother. However, Jong Sook said that she couldn't do that and suggested Mr. Yu. To persuade Ji Son. 
Shortly afterward, Soon Yi confronts Jong Sook about her advice to Ji Seon because Soon Yi thinks that Jong Sook doesn't understand the situation of Ji Seon who intends to raise her child out of wedlock. At the same time, Jong Sook realizes that Soon Yi is wearing the same diamond bracelet that she is wearing, but she tries not to be suspicious of her, even though Soon Yi deliberately shows off the bracelet to provoke Jong Sook. While having dinner with Inho at a fancy restaurant, Soon Yi apologizes to Inho for pressuring him too much to get rid of Jong Sook from the hospital. After they make up, Soon Yi takes Inho to the hotel to have some fun, but Inho reveals that he's just been taking finasteride to treat baldness, which is causing him to become unexcited doing coition. A few hours later, they decided to go home, but at the same time, So Ra who was at the hotel to celebrate her grandmother's birthday, accidentally saw Soon Yi and Inho who looked so intimate with each other. Not only so Ra, Roy who just arrived at the hotel lobby also saw Soon Hee and Inho who looked intimate when they were about to enter the car. A few days ago, Roy had also seen Soon Hee and Inho in the same car, but he tried not to be suspicious because both were colleagues at the hospital. However, after seeing the intimacy shown by them at the hotel, Roy became convinced that Inho had cheated on Soon Hee. The following day, Roy confronted Inho about his affair and told Inho to stop lying to his wife because Roy cared about Jung Sook. On the other hand, Jong Sook accidentally met Ki Yeon at the coffee shop and realized that Ki Yeon was wearing the same diamond bracelet that she was wearing. Since Ki Yeon tells Jong Sook that the diamond bracelet is quite popular and many people are wearing it, Jong Sook feels a little relieved and no longer suspects Soon Hee is her husband's mistress. Meanwhile, In Ho, who was upset because Roy confronted him about his affair, then deliberately humiliated Jong Sook in front of the other doctors, and even continued to corner her at the hospital so that Jong Sook would feel uncomfortable and quit her job immediately. However, Jong Sook insists that she will continue her work at the hospital because she wants to start a new life for her future. The next day, Roy invites Jong Sook to run a marathon together on her day off, and Jong Sook then takes advantage of it to return the favor to Mihi. On their day off, Jong Sook and Mihi run a marathon with Roy and his group, but Mihi realizes that Roy seems to like Jong Sook. At the hospital, and Ho suddenly felt pain in his shoulder while performing surgery, and when he checked his condition, the doctor told In Ho that he suffered from frozen shoulder. The doctor said that In Ho had to undergo physiotherapy treatment and stretch regularly if he wanted to fully recover from the disease and carry out his activities as a surgeon as before. Some time later, Jong Sook observed the examination results of a leukemia patient named Mr. Choi and informed In Ho that there was an abscess in his rectal diverticulum, instead of cancerous cells as In Ho thought. However, In Ho underestimated the judgment of Jong Sook who was a first-year resident doctor, so Jong Sook then risked her job as long as In Ho was willing to do a biopsy to prove her judgment. In Ho, who felt confident in his own judgment and was excited that he could finally make Jong Sook quit her job, then performed the biopsy, but unexpectedly, the examination results proved that Jong Sook's judgment was correct. Therefore, In Ho finally allows Jong Sook to return to handling Mr. Choi who was her patient. Later that night, while he was undergoing acupuncture treatment to relieve the pain in his shoulder, In Ho received a phone call from Yi Rong's homeroom teacher about Yi Rong's preparation to enter the art faculty at a university. Upon arriving home, In Ho immediately enters Yi Rong's room and he is visibly upset when he discovers art-related items that Yi Rong had deliberately hidden. And Ho has always emphasized to his children that they should go to medical school because being a doctor is the pride of their family. Yi Rong, who has just arrived home, is shocked to see her art items scattered in the living room and her father waiting for her and acting as if he wants to punish her. At the hospital, Jong Sook tries to stop a patient named Lee who insists on going home because the x-ray shows that he is fine after falling down due to being too drunk. However, Jung Sook anticipates the possibility of Lee's internal bleeding, so she tells Lee to stay in the hospital for a while until they make sure Lee is fully recovered. A few minutes after Jung Sook left to check on another patient, Lee suddenly fainted, and so Ra immediately checked on Lee's condition. Some time later, when Jung Sook was about to go home, so Ra told Jung Sook that Lee had just undergone emergency surgery because he had internal bleeding, just as Jung Sook had predicted. So Ra then asked how Jong Sook knew that Lee had internal bleeding, and Jong Sook explained that she had touched Lee's abdomen and noticed that Lee had abnormal abdominal contractions. Upon hearing that, So Ra praises Jong Sook for realizing something that other doctors might consider trivial, but it could save someone's life because Jong Sook never underestimates people. 
Shortly afterward, Jong Sook accidentally meets Eun So in the hospital lobby, and Jong Sook finally learns that Eun So is Soong Hee's daughter. After learning that fact, Jong Sook thought back about In Ho's affair with Soong Hee, so she decided to run away from her house, hoping to get her prejudice about her husband out of her mind. But unexpectedly, Jong Sook meets Roy, who intends to reveal to Jong Sook about In Ho's affair with Soong Hee. At the same time, A Sim suddenly appeared and told Jong Sook to go home immediately, so Roy abandoned his intention to reveal the affair. Upon arriving home, Jung Sook was shocked to see Yi Rong sitting on her knees and Yi Rong's art scattered in the living room. And Ho is furious when he learns that Yi Rong didn't intend to go to medical school in the first place, especially since Jung Sook also supports it. Jung Sook tries to convince Inho to understand Yi Rong and support Yi Rong to determine her own path in life, but Inho doesn't care at all about Yi Rong's wishes and dreams, and he doesn't even hesitate to throw away Yi Rong's art items. Jung Sook, who doesn't want Yi Rong to despair because her father doesn't support her decision to study art, rushes to pick up Yi Rong's art items from the trash and clean them up. Soon after that, Jung Sook went to Inho to convince Inho to let Yi Rong study at the art faculty according to her wishes. But surprisingly, Inho says that he'll let Yi Rong go to art school if Jung Sook stops working at the hospital. Upon hearing that, Jung Sook then becomes angry and insists to her husband that she will keep working at the hospital so that she can pay for all of Yi Rong's training and education to study at the art faculty. Jung Sook then confronts Inho about Yi Rong being close friends with Soong Hee's daughter, which makes her feel uncomfortable. And Ho, who knew about it, rushed to Soong Hee to confirm about Eun So and Yi Rong's friendship. And Soong Hee explained to Inho that their daughters became close because they took lessons at the same place, and their relationship would be strained if they went to different universities. The next day, Jong Sook asks Soong Hee about the diamond bracelet, and Soong Hee tells her that it was a gift from her husband, then leaves. In her office, Soong Hee recalls her confrontation with Eun So, which led to Soong Hee revealing to Eun So that she was in Ho's first love and his lover when they were in college. But Jong Sook suddenly appeared and ruined their romance by snatching In Ho from her. Meanwhile, Dok Ray visits A Sim who has just undergone surgery for thyroid cancer as he brings her food and drinks. A Sim then thanks Dok Ray for being so considerate even though she was bad to Dok Ray's daughter because she was against In Ho donating his liver to Jong Sook. Later that night, Roy is kind enough to replace Jong Sook for the night duty at the hospital because Jong Sook has to attend Yi Rong's admission counseling with her homeroom teacher. At the same time, A Sim who saw Jong Sook and Roy's closeness, then warned In Ho that Roy might have romantic feelings for Jong Sook. And Ho initially denies it because a handsome young doctor like Roy can't possibly like a mother of two who is older than him, especially since Jong Sook also has a husband. However, A Sim believes that Roy must like Jong Sook because she once met Roy and Jong Sook who met near their house. Upon hearing that, and Ho then confronted Roy who blatantly met his wife near their house, but Roy cornered and Ho by saying that and Ho actually didn't care about Jong Sook and he was just worried that his affair would be exposed. The following day, Roy advises Ji Son to give up her pregnancy so that she can immediately undergo intensive treatment to cure her illness, because if she delays the treatment for too long, it could threaten Ji Son's life. However, Ji Son insisted on keeping her pregnancy because she wanted to give birth to her baby, even Ji Son also fought with her mother, Mrs. Yu, who tried to persuade her to give up her pregnancy. While Ji Son is going to the toilet, Mrs. Yu secretly takes Ji Son's mobile phone and she finally finds out that Ji Son is dating Min Jun, who is an actor. Mrs. Yu tries to confirm it with Ji Son, but Ji Son denies that Min Jun is the man who impregnated her. On the other hand, Jong Sook intends to borrow money from the bank to pay for Yi Rong's training and education in preparation for applying to art school, which is worth 30 million won. But unexpectedly, Jong Sook can only apply for a credit loan because she has applied for a loan worth 400 billion won with the real estate as collateral. Jong Sook was shocked to hear that because she didn't own any property, let alone a high-value real estate. After investigating, A Sim apparently used Jong Sook's name and signature stamp to apply for a loan at the bank. The next day, So Ra tells Jong Min to get her mobile phone that was left in her dorm room. Upon knowing that, Jong Sook offered to get her mobile phone, and upon arriving at So Ra's room, Jong Sook instead cleaned up her room because it was too messy. When Jong Sook was about to get So Ra's mobile phone, he found Jong Min's watch, and Jong Sook looked so shocked when he found out that Jong Min was dating So Ra. During lunch, So Rai asks Jong Min about his mother, but Jong Min is always evasive to explain anything about his mother while lying to So Ra that his father and Jong Sook are not having a secret affair. However, So Rai asks not because of the rumors about In Ho and Jong Sook, but because she saw In Ho having an affair with Soon Hee at the hotel, which made So Ra feel sorry for Jong Min's mother because she had been betrayed by her husband. Even though she already knew that Jong Min was dating So Ra, Jong Sook was reluctant to confirm it with them because Jong Min told her that he wasn't in a romantic relationship with anyone. 
while So Ra refused to explain anything about her private life to Jong Suk. While having dinner in Hotel Sungi that Roy has somehow found out about their affair. Upon hearing that, Sungi confronts Roy at the hospital and tells him that she will continue her relationship with In Ho. Sungi also wasn't afraid if Roy revealed to Jong Sok about her affair with In Ho, but Roy firmly warned Sungi not to use him because he wouldn't destroy someone else's family, which would only benefit Sungi. Roy felt disappointed in Sungi because he initially thought that In Ho was a jerk for having an affair with another woman, but Sungi turned out to be worse than In Ho because she was intent on destroying Jong Sok and her family. Some time later, several film crews were seen filming in Ho's activities at the hospital, such as visiting his patients and checking their health conditions, as well as performing surgeries. However, due to the sudden recurrence of in Ho's shoulder pain, Dr. Yoon assigned Roy to replace in Ho, and Roy soon became the center of attention due to his handsome face and model-like appearance. On the other hand, a young woman named So Yeon comes to So Ra and tells her that her husband, Son Gyu, seems so depressed after undergoing surgery because his surgery failed. So Yeon was very worried about her husband because Son Gyu seemed to have lost hope and intended to end his life. Meanwhile, Jong Sook, who was changing the bandage on Son Gyu's stomach, tried to encourage Son Gyu so that Son Gyu would not lose hope that his illness could be cured and he could return to living his life normally. However, Son Gyu was already too distraught and told Jong Sook his grievances. Son Gyu also told Jong Sook that he had gone to the roof of the hospital this afternoon because he intended to end his life. The following day, Jong Sook suggested to So Ra that they work with the psychiatry department because Son Gyu was severely depressed. However, So Ra thought that it was normal because Kron's disease is commonly suffered by young patients. Patients are initially worried that they won't be able to return to a normal life after surgery, but most of them make a full recovery and continue their lives as usual. The next day, So Yeon's parents came to see Son Gyu and told him to divorce So Yeon because they assumed that the sickly Son Gyu would not be able to make their daughter happy. Upon learning that, Son Gyu then told his wife to buy food for him, as he intended to go to the roof to end his life. Soon after that, Jong Sook, who was about to check on Son Gyu's condition, was shocked to find a letter left by Son Gyu for his wife because in the letter, Son Gyu indicated that he intended to end his life. Jong Sook immediately called the police and firefighters to inform them about a patient trying to end his life while searching for Son Gyu's whereabouts. Shortly afterward, Roy and Ho were informed that a patient tried to end his life by jumping off the roof of the hospital, and they rushed to the roof when they found out that Jong Sook was also there to persuade the patient. When Jong Sook thought that she had successfully persuaded Son Gyu, unexpectedly, Son Gyu suddenly jumped off the roof, causing Jong Sook who grabbed his arm to fall. Fortunately, the firefighters had set up an air mattress below, so both of them managed to survive. <laughs> Surprisingly, and Ho suddenly approached Jong Sook and he seemed so worried about Jong Sook while holding her hand tightly. However, the most surprising thing was Roy who suddenly came and hugged Jong Sook in front of many people, because he was so worried about Jong Sook. On the other hand, Jong Sook did not expect In Ho and Roy to show such an overreaction, especially since they were supposed to keep In Ho and Jong Sook's relationship a secret. After that incident, the rumors about Jong Sook became more widespread, especially now that she was rumored to be involved in a love triangle with In Ho and Roy. However, Jong Sook doesn't want to think about the rumors, because right now she wants to focus on helping Son Gyu regain hope in his life. Jong Sook then takes Son Gyu to visit the cancer ward so that Son Gyu can realize that in this world there are still many people who never stop fighting to survive, even though they have been diagnosed with a deadly disease. Later that evening, and Ho has dinner with Soon Hee and Unso to celebrate Unso's silver medal win in a competition. Unso then tells Inho that she deliberately approached Irong because she was upset with Inho and his family. Surprisingly, Irong suddenly appears behind them because Unso had invited Irong to dinner to reveal to Irong about Inho's affair with her mother. Unso also tells Irong that Inho is her biological father. Upon hearing that, Irong storms off, crying in frustration because she had no idea that her father had been having an affair with another woman and even had a daughter the same age as her. Upon arriving home, Irong revealed to her grandmother about An Ho's affair with another woman that had produced a child the same age as her. Upon learning that, A Sim scolds An Ho for making the same mistake twice, and she wonders why An Ho is so stupid when he's a doctor. A Sim then asks about the woman who was In Ho's affair, and An Ho replies that the woman was Soon Yi who was his lover in college. Since Irong already knew about An Ho's affair, A Sim told An Ho to persuade Irong to keep it a secret from Jong Sook. 
and Ho then went to Yi Rong in her room and tried to persuade her by saying that he would support Yi Rong to study at the art faculty. Although Yi Rong knows that her father did it because he felt guilty about her, Yi Rong has no intention of revealing in Ho's affair to Jong Sook because she's worried about Jong Sook's health. The following day, Jong Min is about to meet In Ho at his office to hand over a gift from In Ho's former patient. However, as Jong Min places the gift on the desk, he accidentally reads a text message from Soong he sent to In Ho's mobile phone. Jong Min initially doesn't want to suspect his father, but he gets even more curious, so he decides to come to their meeting place in secret. Upon arrival, Jong Min was shocked to see his father making out with Soong Hee. Jong Min then confronts In Ho about his affair with Soong Hee, but In Ho thinks that Jong Min found out about it from Yi Rong and A Sim, which makes Jong Min even more shocked because he didn't expect them to know about the affair. Jong Min tells In Ho that he used to want to be a talented doctor like In Ho because he respected his father so much. However, after learning about In Ho's affair, Jong Min then expresses his disappointment to In Ho. At the tutoring center, Eun So thinks that she has succeeded in destroying Yi Rong's family, but Yi Rong firmly says that she won't keep quiet because in this case, it's because her mother is the victim. Yi Rong then insults Eun So as the couple cheating daughter, and if Soong Hee and In Ho's affair is exposed, then Soong Hee and Eun So who will suffer the most because Soong Hee is having an affair with a married man and has a child out of wedlock. In the evening, Jong Min approaches his mother who looks exhausted from working all day and having to watch the night shift. Jong Min actually wants to reveal to Jong Sook about In Ho's affair, but he's worried about Jong Sook's health condition, so he chooses to keep it a secret. The next day, Ji Seon's parents made a post on the National Civil Complaints website about Ji Seon being impregnated by an actor, and the public wondered if the actor was Min Joon. At the same time, Min Joon visits Ji Seon at the hospital to confirm Ji Seon's pregnancy, but Ji Seon denies that the baby is Min Joon's baby, although Min Joon insists to Ji Seon that he will take responsibility and marry Ji Seon. On holiday, while Jong Sook is away with Mihi, Jong Min and his family discuss In Ho's affair. Jong Min urges In Ho to end his affair with Soong Hee, but Yi Rong reveals to her brother that In Ho and Soong Hee have a daughter who is the same age as her. Upon learning that, Jong Min then tells In Ho to decide whether In Ho will divorce Jong Sook and choose Soong Hee, or In Ho will end his affair with Soong Hee and maintain his marriage with Jong Sook. On the other hand, Mihi invited Jong Sook to visit a psychic who then warned Jong Sook because she had an unusual destiny in a romantic relationship, especially now that someone was trying to get close to her. A few days later, An Ho came to Roy and told him to keep his affair a secret while promising that he would make a choice whether he would divorce Jong Sook or end his affair with Soong Hee. Meanwhile, A Sim intends to celebrate Jong Sook's birthday at a luxury hotel and insists to An Ho that he doesn't divorce Jong Sook. While buying a birthday present for Jong Sook, A Sim remembers Jong Sook's mother and she intends to see if Dok Rae knows about In Ho's affair. A Sim then met Dok Rae and gave her a gift as an expression of gratitude because Dok Rae had been so attentive to A Sim while she was hospitalized. After a conversation with Dok Rae, A Sim can confirm that Dok Rae and her daughter don't know about In Ho's affair. Later that evening, Roy intends to reveal to Jong Sook about An Ho's affair with Soong Hee. However, after he saw Jong Sook who looked happy because she was going to celebrate her birthday with a dinner with her family at a hotel, Roy then abandoned his intention and only wished Jong Sook a happy birthday. As Jong Sook was preparing the prescription, a nurse informed her about Soong Hee's social media account and revealed that An Ho changed the surgery date for a holiday. Surprisingly, on the same date that An Ho told Jong Sook that he would be attending a conference in Paris, Soong Hee also went on holiday to Paris. After checking several posts on Soong Hee's social media accounts, Jong Sook finally found out that her husband had cheated on her with Soong Hee. Jong Sook looked so heartbroken and devastated when she found out the truth, but she tried to stay strong to face everything. <laughs> Soon after that, Jong Sook went to Ki Yeon and confirmed to her that she rejected Ki Yeon's offer to move to the pediatrics department because she wanted to work in the same department as Soong Hee. Meanwhile, In Ho and his family, who are waiting for Jong Sook at the hotel, get into an argument because Yi Rong keeps criticizing her father for having an affair. While Jong Min defends Yi Rong because according to him, In Ho has no right to scold Yi Rong. Upon seeing that, A Sim then tells In Ho that a man will lose his honor as the head of the family in front of his children when he is caught having an affair with another woman. 
At the same time, Sungi who learns that Inho and his family are at the hotel to celebrate Jong Sook's birthday, intends to reveal to them about Inho's affair. Soon after that, Jong Sook finally arrived at the hotel and her family greeted her awkwardly while complimenting Jong Sook's beautiful and graceful appearance. They then celebrated Jong Sook's birthday with a birthday cake while singing to Jong Sook. On the other hand, Sung Hee, who saw it from behind the door, imagined herself in Jong Sook's shoes, as In Ho was supposed to marry her after they graduated from college. However, Sung Hee finally abandoned her intention to ruin Jong Sook's birthday celebration after she got a text message from Eun So. After singing and taking pictures together, Iran gave a pair of shoes to her mother as a birthday present, while Jong Min and A Sim presented Jong Sook with a perfume and a fancy wallet. However, and Ho doesn't give any gifts as he had bought Jong Sook a diamond bracelet a few months ago as a birthday present, and instead, and Ho gives Jong Sook a bouquet of flowers. When and Ho was about to cut the birthday cake, surprisingly, Jong Sook slammed and Ho's face onto the cake, causing and Ho's face to smudge. And Ho and the others thought Jong Sook would throw a tantrum, but unexpectedly, Jong Sook burst out laughing, telling and Ho that it could be considered and Ho's birthday present to her. On the way home, and Ho and his family tried to break the awkward ice as Jong Sook seemed to be in a tizzy as if she had found out about and Ho's affair. Iran then discusses about her parents' marriage which at the time was arguably too hasty because Inho had impregnated Jong Sook. Upon hearing that, Jong Sook was reminded of the past when Mihi sang discordantly at her wedding reception, but A Sim made a mess of things, so Jong Sook suddenly burst into tears and asked Inho to drop her by the side of the road. After thinking about things for a whole night, Jong Sook decides to consult a divorce lawyer about her intention to divorce from Inho who has been having an affair with another woman. Upon knowing that Jong Sook was frantic, Roy then suggested to her to participate as a medical volunteer in a free community medical service event organized by their hospital regularly. Soon after that, and Ho asked his children about what Jong Sook was going to discuss until she told them to gather in the living room. Jong Sook then met them and expressed her intention to move into the resident dormitory because she was too tired to commute every day since the distance between their house and the hospital was quite far, especially since she had to take public transport. Yi Rong and Jong Min don't mind at all, but A Sim doesn't seem to agree because she can't find a housemaid who meets her standards. So Jong Sook tells A Sim to lower her standards so that the housemaid will feel at home while working at their house. In addition, Jong Sook also informs In Ho that she will volunteer as a medic in the free medical service program organized by their hospital, so that she will move into the residence dorm early. Arriving at the dormitory, Jong Sook accidentally meets So Ra who is going to meet Jong Min. Jong Sook then tells So Ra that from now on she will be living in the resident dormitory and her room happens to be adjacent to So Ra's. The following day, Jong Sook and her colleagues were getting ready to go to the location of the free medical service that would be held in a village two hours drive from their city. Upon knowing that Jong Sook will participate as a medical volunteer, and Ho decides to participate in the free medical service program. And Ho tries to pay attention to Jong Sook, hoping he can mend his relationship with Jong Sook. However, Jong Sook instead ignored him and chose to provide medical services by visiting villagers' homes. In her task of checking on the health of the elderly in their respective homes, Jong Sook is assisted by Do Gyoam who seems impressed when he sees Jong Sook being so serious and wholehearted in providing medical services to the elderly who cannot afford treatment at the clinic. Jong Sook doesn't even hesitate to wash the feet of an old man who has acute diabetes and makes food for the old man. At the hospital, Dok Ray, who had just checked her shoulder at the orthopedic department, accidentally met Soong Hee as she was about to leave the hospital. They then take time to chat for a while, and during the conversation, Dok Ray tells Soong Hee that her daughter is a resident doctor, but she hides the fact from Soong Hee that Jong Sook works at the hospital. Soon after that, A Sim comes to the hospital to meet Soong Hee and tells her to end her affair with An Ho while confirming to Soong Hee that until then, Jong Sook is her one and only daughter-in-law. Soong Hee, who was devastated to hear that, tried to melt An Ho's mother's heart by showing her Eun So's picture. But A Sim didn't seem to care at all about her other granddaughter and would assume that she never knew Eun So, then left Soong Hee crying in frustration that her daughter was not acknowledged by A Sim. Later that evening, while Jong Sook was preparing dinner for the medical volunteers and villagers, she accidentally splashed hot oil and scalded her finger. Upon seeing that, Roy immediately helped Jong Sook to heal her wound, but at the same time, An Ho appeared and seemed jealous because Roy was holding his wife's hand. After changing his clothes, An Ho then went to catch up with his colleagues who were about to have dinner at the village hall. Not noticing a phone call from Eun So who was trying to contact An Ho because her mother suddenly had severe stomach cramps, so she had to be taken to the hospital immediately. Soon Yi asks the paramedics to take her to the other hospital because she doesn't want to be treated at the hospital where she works, so as not to become the subject of gossip from the hospital staff. 
Meanwhile, and Ho, who was jealous of Jung Sook and Roy's closeness, tried to dissuade them. <laughs> But he got involved in a series of embarrassing incidents, so he became upset and vented his anger by drinking too much until he got drunk. Even Roy, who usually restricts himself from drinking too much alcohol, chose to go over his limit that night because their department head scolded them if they didn't drink the alcohol that had been served by the villagers. A drunken Inho then invites Roy to sing karaoke together in front of their colleagues and the villagers, while So Ra and Jong Min secretly go to a quiet place to make out. When So Ra borrows Jong Min's mobile phone, she accidentally finds a video recorded by Jong Min during Jong Sook's birthday celebration at the hotel some time ago. So Ra seems surprised to learn that Jong Sook is Jong Min's mother. At the same time, a drunken Ho accidentally reveals that Jong Sook is his wife by calling Jong Siak affectionately in front of everyone. <laughs> So Ra, who is borrowing Jong Min's mobile phone, looked so surprised when she found a video recorded by Jong Min during his mother's birthday celebration, and Jong Min finally couldn't deny that Jong Sook was his mother. So Ra, who learnt the truth, was both shocked and angry that Jong Min hid the fact from her, his girlfriend. Meanwhile, Jong Sook decides to confirm to everyone that Inho is her husband and invites them to sing and dance together. <laughs> After the drinks, Dr. Yoon asks Jong Min the truth about his parents, and Jong Min can't deny it since Inho has revealed everything to them, while So Ra seems to feel sorry for treating Jong Sook like another resident doctor's. Soon after that, a man named Sung Woo came with his pregnant wife, Eon, who was about to give birth. Sung Woo asked Jong Sook to help with his wife's delivery because the hospital was too far from their village. Jong Sook was initially hesitant because none of the obstetricians participated in the volunteer event, but she also couldn't ignore patients who needed help. Jong Sook then tells Jong Min to gather their colleagues who don't drink alcohol while she tries to wake In Ho up. Once In Ho is somewhat sober, Jong Sook and two nurses accompany him to assist Eon's labor. But in the middle of the delivery, In Ho suddenly felt nauseous, so Jong Sook was forced to take over, and fortunately, the delivery went smoothly and Eon and her baby were healthy. Jong Sook looked so relieved and happy because she had never expected that she would be able to help a woman deliver her baby in such an unexpected situation. Shortly afterward, Jong Sook thanked Roy because he had offered her the opportunity to become a medical volunteer, and she also gained valuable experience as a doctor. On the other hand, Roy then revealed to Jong Sook that he had found out about In Ho's affair and tried to tell Jong Sook, but he refrained because he didn't want to get Jong Sook hurt. Upon hearing that, Jong Sook asked Roy not to think about her family problems or ask about her reasons for not wanting to make a careless decision regarding her marriage problems. Jong Sook added that she should also think about the happiness of her children, but Roy instead called Jong Jong Sook a pathetic woman for making her children as an excuse, when Jong Sook should have made a choice that could make her happy. The following day, Eun So told her mother that she had vented her anger and was trying to move on without a father in her life. Eun So advises Soong Hee to do the same, as Soon Hee will suffer even more if she continues to hope for In Ho. Soong Hee seems to think about her daughter's advice, and she decides to sell some of her assets because she intends to return to the United States with Eun So. On the other hand, the villagers give some of their harvest to Jong Sook and her colleagues as a token of gratitude for helping the villagers get free medical treatment. Eon also gave a handkerchief to Jong Sook as an expression of gratitude and wished Jong Sook happiness. Soon after that, Jong Sook went to Soong Hee at her office to tell her that she would be working in the family medicine department. Jong Sook adds that Soong Hee should not pay too much attention to the fact that she is in Ho's wife since everyone already knows the truth. Later that night, Soong Hee asks In Ho if he has any intention of divorcing Jong Sook. Upon hearing that, In Ho tells Soong Hee that in this case, Jong Sook is the victim, so he feels it's inappropriate to ask for a divorce from Jong Sook unless Jong Sook files for divorce first. Hearing this answer, Soong Hee then returns the diamond bracelet given by In Ho while asking In Ho to make a firm decision whether he will divorce Jong Sook or maintain his marriage with Jong Sook. At the hospital, Jong Min asks Roy about his relationship with his mother. Roy told Jong Min that it was a difficult question, but he later told Jong Min that they were just friends. On the other hand, A Sim seems interested in investing in the sanatorium project initiated by her close friend, Mr. Park. 
but she wants to discuss it with Ho first, especially since the building that will be used as collateral to apply for a loan is established in Jong Sook's name. However, Mr. Park advises Asim to keep the investment a secret as children will usually grumble if their parents invest with their wealth. While in the toilet, So Ra tells Jong Sook that she'll behave as usual even though she already knows that Jong Sook is Jong Min's mother. Jong Sook tells So Ra that she doesn't mind that at all, because she'll also act normally even though all their colleagues at the hospital already know that she's in Ho's wife. Shortly afterward, Jong Sook realizes that Roy is upset and thinks that she is the cause, so Jong Sook apologizes to Roy. However, Roy is evasive and tells Jong Sook that he should apologize to Jong Sook for interfering in her family problems. They then make up, and Jong Sook tells Roy that from now on, she will try to find her own happiness. While Roy, who has romantic feelings for Jong Sook, hopes that someday he will have the opportunity to be by Jong Sook's side for the rest of his life. After drinking, Jong Min and So Ra have a fight because So Ra feels offended by Jong Min's opinion about her. Jong Min tried to explain the misunderstanding, but So Ra chose to leave him. Meanwhile, Jong Sook drives a drunken Ho home, and she accidentally finds Soon He's diamond bracelet that fell out of In Ho's trouser pocket. Upon seeing that, Jong Sook becomes increasingly annoyed at In Ho and leaves even though her mother in law tries to persuade her to stay over because it's late. Instead of returning to the resident dormitory, Jong Sook decided to spend the night at her mother's house. Jong Sook then asks why her mother chose to keep her marriage even though her husband doesn't treat her well. Dok Ray told her daughter that she survived not because she loved her husband, but she survived for Jong Sook's sake. Dok Ray added that Jong Sook should also think about the happiness and the future of her children and defend her marriage with In Ho as much as possible. Jong Sook could only shed tears hearing the advice from her mother because she couldn't reveal to her mother about In Ho's affair. The following day, In Ho tried to make up with Jong Sook and gifted her a coffee machine. However, Jong Sook responded to him coldly because she still couldn't forgive In Ho for having an affair with Soon Hee. While at work, Jung Sook often gets reprimanded by Soon Hee who seems to deliberately corner her so that she doesn't feel at home working at the hospital. Meanwhile, Lee Rong and Eun So argued at the tutoring center and an upset Lee Rong pushed Eun So because Eun So deliberately confronted Lee Rong by saying bad things about her family. <laughs> Soon after that, Jong Sook who was about to go home, accidentally saw In Ho and Soong Hee who left together in a hurry. Jong Sook, who feels suspicious, decides to follow them to a hospital where Eun So has to undergo treatment after Lee Rong accidentally broke her wrist so that Eun So's hand has to be cast. In Ho looks shocked when Eun So tells him that Lee Rong pushed her and got her hurt. Concurrently, Jong Sook who is secretly following them overhears Eun So's conversation with her parents. And she becomes devastated and cries in frustration when she learns that In Ho not only cheated on Soon Hee, but they also have a daughter who is none other than Eun So. Shortly afterward, So Ra, who realized that Jong Sook was frantic and frustrated, then took her for a drive in her sports car. Because Jong Sook seemed to be having trouble breathing, So Ra then opened the car roof and sped her car at high speed to get some fresh air. So Ra also revealed to Jong Sook that she knew about In Ho and Soon Hee's affair because she had seen them at the hotel. At the same time, it suddenly rained and So Ra couldn't close her car roof so they got caught in the rain. However, Jong Sook was relieved, so she was finally able to laugh again and thank So Ra for comforting her. Upon arriving at the resident dormitory, So Ra then invited Jong Sook to have a drink together while telling her about her past when her father had an affair with another woman and her mother became depressed because of it. Before So Ra returns to her room, Jong Sook reveals to her that she already knows about So Ra dating Jong Min and approves of their relationship because she realizes that So Ra is actually a good girl. Meanwhile, Iran comes to Mihi at her beauty clinic and decides to tell Mihi everything about her family's problems while crying in frustration because she's so worried about her mother. In the middle of the night, Jong Sook, who was still frustrated after learning that In Ho had a daughter from his mistress, went to In Ho's office with the coffee machine In Ho had given him. Upon arrival, Jong Sook slammed the coffee machine to the ground, then threw the diamond bracelet In Ho had given her because she no longer wanted to use it. The following day, Jong Sook confronts In Ho and Soon Hee at once to confirm that Eun So is indeed In Ho's biological daughter. Soon Hee immediately confirmed the fact, but In Ho instead said that he would end his affair with Soon Hee. Upon hearing that, Jong Sook told them that she didn't care about them at all, as she only wanted to focus on finishing her residency at the hospital. In addition, Jong Sook also gave Soon Hee one month to resign from the hospital and work at another hospital. After confronting them all at once, Jong Sook then met In Ho personally in his office and vented her anger at In Ho for betraying her and hurting their children. <laughs> Sook 
Unbeknownst to them, Roy had overheard their conversation from outside the room, and he had no idea that In Ho had a daughter from his affair with Soon Hee. Shortly afterward, Roy accidentally met Ji Seon who had given birth to a baby girl. Ji Seon looked happy as she told Roy about her baby, although it signaled that Ji Seon had no intention of undergoing treatment as she had decided to take care of her baby after being discharged from the hospital. Ji Seon then met her mother who was still upset with Ji Seon's decision as Mrs. Yu expected that Ji Seon would undergo treatment after giving birth. Ji Seon tries to persuade her mother to accept her baby and take care of her baby if she has passed away, but Mrs. Yu scolds Ji Seon and says that Ji Seon should stay alive so that she can take care of her daughter. On the other hand, Roy decides to register his DNA at the police station so that he can find his biological parents. Later that evening, Jung Sook picks up Yi Rong at the art academy and takes her daughter to dinner. Jung Sook then reveals to Yi Rong that she has found out about In Ho and Un So and apologizes to Yi Rong for making her suffer. Upon learning that, Yi Rong tries to comfort her mother by saying that she will always support Jung Sook in hopes that her mother can find her own happiness. On the other hand, Eun So is frustrated that she can't take the entrance exam to the art faculty because Yi Rong injures her hand. Eun So is upset that she always loses to Yi Rong, both in getting In Ho's attention and affection, and in achieving their dream of studying at the art school. Shortly afterwards, So Ra reveals to Jong Min that she coincidentally found out about In Ho and Soon Hee's affair. So Ra adds that she also accidentally found out that Jong Sook had found out about their affair. Jong Min looks shocked to hear that, especially after learning that his mother already knew about his father's affair with Soon Hee. Jong Min then asks So Ra not to think about his family problems and they decide to break up. At the same time, Jong Sook meets Mi Hee and tells her all her problems, while In Ho gets pressure from his family to make a decision as soon as possible. In Ho confirms to them that he won't divorce Jong Sook, while Mi Hee advises Jong Sook to make a decision that will make her happy. Mi Hee also adds that she will always support whatever Jong Sook decides as long as the decision makes Jong Sook happy. Shortly afterward, an upset Soon Yi then came to Jong Sook and vented her anger to Jong Sook because Jong Sook's daughter had hurt her daughter. Soon Yi did not even hesitate to tell Jong Sook to divorce from In Ho and blame Jong Sook for the suffering she experienced because Jong Sook snatched In Ho who used to be her lover. However, Jong Sook defends herself by telling Soon Yi that the bad things they've been experiencing lately are the result of their past sins, emphasizing that she's also suffering a lot, just like Soon Yi. Jung Sook then returned to her room and tried to sleep, but at the same time, there was a sudden short circuit in the resident dormitory that caused a fire. Roy and Ho who got information about the fire, then rushed to the resident dormitory to rescue Jung Sook who was still trapped in the room. Fortunately, Roy managed to arrive in time to rescue Jung Sook, but Ho then told Roy to let him take Jung Sook so as not to arouse suspicion. Once outside the building, Jung Sook told Ho to drop her off and told Ho that Soon Yi had come to see her to vent her anger on her. Soon after that, Jong Sook gets a text message from Roy who volunteered to let the resident doctors stay at his house because the resident dormitory will be closed for three days. Jong Sook initially felt awkward about staying at Roy's house, but So Ra then invited Jong Sook to go together to Roy's house which was only a three-minute walk from the hospital. The following day, So Ra, who knew that Roy had romantic feelings for Jong Sook, then told him to approach Jong Sook, especially since Roy had also found out about In Ho's affair. However, Roy thinks that Jong Sook might forgive In Ho because she has goodness in her heart, although So Ra doubts that. At the hospital, Roy deliberately embarrasses In Ho in front of their colleagues and confronts In Ho about his affair. Their dispute even continues when they try to break up Dr. Lim and Dr. Yoon's fight over family issues, which leads to their own quarrel. While Roy and Ho bicker in the emergency department, Jong Min and Jong Sook visit Ji Seon who is going home from the hospital that day. Ji Seon, who has been preparing for her daughter's first birthday celebration, begs Jong Min to give her a pen that will be used in the celebration. Jong Min hesitantly gives the pen to Ji Seon, even though it was a gift from Ho. Jong Min tells his mother that the pen is no longer important, and walks away. Soon after that, Jong Sook gets a phone call informing her that Roy and Ho are fighting in the emergency department. Upon hearing that, Jong Sook rushes there and stops their fight. <laughs> Jung Sook then scolds Roy and Ho for being careless and childish, which only further confirms the rumors of them being involved in a love triangle. A few days later, Jung Sook accidentally met Ji Seon who was about to bring home her baby after undergoing intensive care at the hospital. At the same time, Ji Seon suddenly winced due to stomach pain, so Jung Sook then told her to check her condition at the family medicine department polyclinic. 
Sunyi then checked Jisoon's condition and suggested that Jisoon should be hospitalized to monitor her health condition more closely. Since Jisoon was previously a patient of the surgery department, Sunyi's assistant calls Jung Min to check Jisoon's condition before deciding whether Jisoon should be hospitalized or allowed to go home. After consulting with a professor in the surgery department and explaining everything to Jisoon, Jung Min allowed Jisoon to go home, even though he had advised Jisoon to be hospitalized so that they could monitor Jisoon's condition. However, Jisoon insists on going home with her baby and she advises Jung Min to rest as Jung Min seems unwell. On the other hand, Eun So decides to quit tutoring at the art academy because she's fed up with Lee Rong who also tutors there. Soon Yi finds out about it and becomes upset and confronts Jung Sook. Soon Yi also forces Jung Sook to divorce from Eun Ho immediately so that she can marry Eun Ho and build a full family for Eun So. Later that night, Jung Min was in a panic because Ji Seon suddenly collapsed unconscious, so her family immediately took her to the hospital. As Ji Seon's condition continued to deteriorate, Jung Min immediately asked Roy for help to operate on Ji Seon as soon as possible. But Roy then told Jung Min to warn Ji Seon's parents that Ji Seon's surgery might not go well, considering that Ji Seon had refused to undergo treatment because she insisted on giving birth to her baby. When Roy operated on Ji Seon, he discovered that Ji Seon had multiple primary cancers which worsened her health condition. Not only did she have colon cancer, Ji Seon was also diagnosed with stomach cancer, so Roy assumed that Ji Seon might not survive. Even so, Roy still tried to save Ji Seon's life, although in the end Ji Seon died due to severe complications from her cancer. Meanwhile, and Ho decided to end his illicit relationship with Soon Hee and try to make up with his wife. And Ho reasoned that Jung Sook had sacrificed a lot for him because Jung Sook not only had to take care of their children at a very young age, but Jung Sook also sincerely took care of In Ho's father who was seriously ill at that time. And Ho felt indebted to Jung Sook, so he chose to try as much as possible to maintain his marriage with Jung Sook. However, Soon Hee seemed unable to accept the decision, and she became frustrated that the man she loved all this time would rather live with another woman than build a new family with her and Eun So. At the hospital, Ji Seon's parents are shocked and devastated to learn that their daughter has passed away, while Jung Min feels guilty that he allowed Ji Seon to return home when Ji Seon's health condition was deteriorating. A frustrated Jung Min then leaves the hospital, and his whereabouts are unknown, and he can't even be contacted via mobile phone. Jung Sook tries to find Jung Min's whereabouts at home, but she only meets In Ho who has just come home and there's no one at home but them. Jung Sook then gets a phone call from Lee Rong's homeroom teacher who informs her about Lee Rong's test scores dropping drastically. She also tells Jung Sook that Lee Rong has been looking gloomy and lackluster lately. Upon hearing that, Jung Sook blames In Ho because their family problems have caused Lee Rong to lose focus in her studies and made her grades drop drastically. Soon after that, Jung Sook and Inho attend Ji Seon's funeral, where Mrs. Yu instantly becomes angry and cries in frustration while blaming Jung Min for her daughter's death. Mrs. Yu thinks that Jung Min has committed medical malpractice and intends to sue Jung Min and the hospital for Ji Seon's death. Jung Sook is unable to say anything and can only sit weakly while crying over Ji Seon's death which was probably caused by her son. On the other hand, So Ra tries to call Jung Min several times, but gets no answer until she finally finds Jung Min hiding in a game center. Returning from Ji Seon's funeral, Jung Sook explains to Inho that Ji Seon was a referral patient from her department and Jung Min was the doctor who checked Ji Seon's medical records before he decided to let Ji Seon go home from the hospital. As painful as it is, Jung Sook admits that Jung Min made a mistake because Jung Min should have done a thorough examination before deciding whether Ji Seon could go home or be hospitalized. Inho then tells Jung Sook that he will handle the matter to help Jung Min, even though he already knows that soon he is Ji Seon's attending physician. And Ho insists that he prefers to save his son, even if he has to deal with Soong Yi who is his mistress. Shortly afterward, Jung Sook gets a text message from So Ra informing him that she's found Jung Min. Jung Sook feels a little relieved and tells In Ho to help Jung Min while she takes care of Yi Rong. At midnight, Jung Sook, who was still mourning Ji Seon's passing, decided to go back to the funeral home and pour out her grief for feeling so lost over Ji Seon's death as well as feeling guilty towards Ji Seon's parents. Jung Sook then tells Mrs. Yu that Ji Seon insisted on giving birth to her baby because she already knew that her life was not long. So she left her little angel to her parents so that her parents would not feel lost when it was time for her to leave them forever. Mrs. Yu then asked Jung Sook why she didn't try to ask her to forgive Jung Min, and Jung Sook replied that she didn't deserve to ask Mrs. Yu because Jung Min did something wrong. The following day, Jung Sook invites Lee Rong to hang out with her while advising Lee Rong to focus on studying for her own sake instead of proving her achievements to her father because it will only burden her. 
at the hospital, and Ho advises Jong Min as he recounts his experience as a resident doctor. At that time, and Ho was also faced with a difficult situation because he had to make a quick decision to save the lives of several patients. Due to his decision, and Ho managed to save the lives of some of the patients while others died. And Ho tells Jong Min that every doctor will inevitably face situations where they have to make such decisions. But with time, they will gain experience that will enable them to save more lives in the future. Therefore, Jong Min should not hide and avoid the problem. Instead, Jong Min should be ready to face the problem, apologize and accept the consequences of the mistake as part of his experience of becoming a doctor. After receiving advice from his father, Jong Min then went to the funeral home to apologize to Ji Son's parents and pay his last respects to Ji Son. On the other hand, Dr. Lim informs Soon Yi that Ji Son's parents intend to sue the hospital for their daughter's death. And Ho tries to protect Jong Min by making the family medicine department the responsible party for Ji Son's death since Ji Son was Soon Yi's patient. Dr. Lim advises Soon Yi to mount a defense if Soon Yi doesn't want her career ruined. Upon hearing that, Soon Yi goes straight to Ho and warns Ho not to involve her department as it was the surgery department that allowed Ji Son to go home. However, and Ho reveals some facts that the family medicine department also had a hand in it, so soon he becomes even angrier and yells at and Ho in front of many people. Unbeknownst to them, Roy was listening to their argument, so he decides to meet Ji Son's parents and explain to them about Ji Son's health condition in detail. At the funeral home, Mr. Yu tells Roy that Jong Min finally came and apologized to them while crying. However, they are reluctant to forgive Jong Min as it won't bring their daughter back to life. Roy then tries to explain to them about the cause of Ji Son's death, but Mr. Yu refuses to listen to any explanation because it also can't change the fact that Ji Son is gone. On the other hand, Dok Rae who realized that Jung Sook was having complicated problems in her family, then called A Sim to ask about it, but A Sim instead took her to a medical clinic to check her health condition. Surprisingly, the doctor told Dok Rae that she had severe inflammation and her health condition was deteriorating drastically, so he suggested that Dok Rae undergo treatment immediately. Soon after that, Jung Sook seems to be busy preparing everything for the death anniversary of her father-in-law who died a few years ago. A Simon and Ho then try to help her prepare the food, and they seem to have trouble doing so because all this time, Jung Sook has been doing everything by herself. Therefore, Jung Sook then taught them step by step while saying that preparing rituals for the deceased family must be done wholeheartedly. After performing the ritual and having dinner, A Sim told her family that they didn't have to perform the ritual in the future while revealing that she was in a romantic relationship with a man. Upon hearing that, and Ho and his family looked shocked as they had not expected A Sim to have a lover. Soon after that, Jong Sook tells Inho that she wants a divorce from him while revealing that she saw her disability sticker on Inho's car parked in the hospital's disability parking area. Jong Sook adds that she finally realized Inho's true nature and she doesn't fully blame Inho for their family problems. Even so, Jong Sook has made up her mind to divorce from Inho because she can no longer imagine living with Inho as husband and wife. Jong Sook also asks Inho to sincerely accept that their relationship is only as parents to Jong Min and Iran, and not as a married couple. Jung Sook then tells Inho that she has forgiven Inho as the father of her children, but she can no longer see Inho as her husband because Inho no longer matters in her life. Upon hearing that, Inho couldn't say a word because he was too shocked to the point that he had a nosebleed and collapsed unconscious. Jung Sook initially thought that Inho was just pretending, but since Inho didn't wake up even though she had tried to wake him up, Jung Sook then became panicked and intended to pour water on Inho's face. Soon after that, Inho, who had woken up, approached Jung Sook and knelt down while begging Jung Sook for forgiveness because he didn't want a divorce from Jung Sook. However, Jung Sook told Inho that her decision to divorce was firm and she wouldn't change her mind even if Inho knelt down to beg for her forgiveness. At the same time, A Sim and the others suddenly entered the room and A Sim looked so shocked when she heard that Jung Sook asked for a divorce from Inho. A Sim tried to persuade Jung Sook to change her mind and reconcile with Inho, but Jung Sook refused because she was already determined to file for divorce from Inho. A Sim then told Inho to end his relationship with Soong Hee and give child support to Eun So. Inho told his mother that he had tried to give Soong Hee child support, but Soong Hee refused. Upon hearing that, A Sim doesn't seem too surprised since Soong Hee comes from a rich family, but Inho tells her that Soong Hee was ostracized by her family since giving birth to Eun So. A Sim seems a little sympathetic to Soong Hee, but she then becomes shocked to learn that Soong Hee might inherit a hundred billion won since her father just passed away. Jong Sook, on the other hand, is seen discussing her divorce with Jong Min and Iran and apologizing to them that she decided to divorce their father. However, Jong Min and Iran understand that and support whatever Jong Sook decides as long as Jong Sook is relieved and happy with the decision. The following day, the hospital director informed In Ho that Ji Son's parents had cancelled their intention to sue Jong Min and the hospital. Dr. Yoon adds that Roy managed to persuade them and tells In Ho to thank Roy for settling the matter. 
On the other hand, Roy met Jong Sook to deliver a message from Mrs. Yu who finally let go of Ji Seon and forgave Jong Min. After Roy explains to them about the cause of Ji Seon's death, they finally understand that Ji Seon is no longer possible to save because her condition is so bad. When Jong Min came to the funeral home to pay his last respects to Ji Seon, Mrs. Yu told him that Ji Seon's death was not his fault. However, Jong Min still felt so guilty that he repeatedly apologized to them until they finally forgave him. Upon learning that, Jong Sook couldn't stem her tears because Mrs. Yu finally forgave Jong Min. Jong Sook also thanked Roy for trying hard to explain Ji Seon's health condition to her parents, which indirectly helped Jong Min. Meanwhile, In Ho tells Soong Yi that Jong Sook wants a divorce from him, but In Ho insists that he doesn't want to divorce Jong Sook. Upon hearing that, Soong Yi also insists that she won't end their relationship and will keep waiting for In Ho. Soon after that, Soong Yi went to Roy at his office to thank him for persuading Ji Seon's parents not to sue the hospital. On the other hand, Jong Min's colleagues seemed relieved that Ji Seon's parents had cancelled their intention to sue the hospital, but Jong Min seemed unhappy because after all, he had made a mistake that indirectly caused Ji Seon to die. Therefore, Jong Min could not forgive himself for Ji Seon's death. Some time later, Roy came to the police station to register his DNA in order to find his biological parents. However, the policewoman on duty there warns Roy not to get his hopes up as not everyone registers their DNA voluntarily to find their missing family. While Jung Sook is doing her job as a resident doctor happily, Dok Rae decides to quit her job, even though she only works for two days a week. Dok Rae is forced to quit her job because her health condition is getting worse by the day and she intends to undergo treatment as soon as possible. Dok Rae then calls Jung Sook and tells her that she has stopped working as a care worker. Jung Sook seems relieved to hear that, but on the other hand, she worries about her mother and assumes that her mother might be sick. Later that night, Jung Sook visits her mother who seems to be in pain and has difficulty moving. Dok Rae argued that she had taken painkillers and tried to convince Jong Sook that she would recover soon. However, Jong Sook insists that Dok Rae should check her condition at the hospital so that she can undergo proper treatment. The following days, Jong Sook became increasingly anxious as several doctors who had examined her mother's condition explained different diagnosis results, making it difficult for them to determine what disease Dok Rae was suffering from. Shortly afterward, Jong Sook receives a bouquet of flowers from In Ho as well as a letter indicating that In Ho has shared the ownership of the house with Jong Sook. Even so, Jong Sook seems unhappy and immediately returns the gift to In Ho while emphasizing to In Ho that it's too late for him to fix their marriage. At the same time, A Sim visits Dok Rae while bringing delicious cakes, and as she's about to leave, she accidentally runs into Soong Hee and is reminded that Soong Hee has an inheritance worth 100 billion won. A Sim then tells Inho to give a lot of money to Dok Rae to show his concern as well as take his mother-in-law to dinner at a fancy restaurant to please her. Concurrently, Jong Sook seems surprised to learn that the doctor who will treat her mother is Soong Hee. On the other hand, Soong Hee was also surprised because she had no idea that Dok Rae was Jong Sook's mother. Jong Sook then reveals to Dok Rae that Soong Hee used to be In Ho's lover in college, so she feels uncomfortable if her mother becomes Soong Hee's patient. Jong Sook also went to Soong Hee and told her to change the doctor who would treat her mother because Jong Sook thought that Soong Hee was deliberately doing that to upset her. However, Soong Hee refused to do so because she was committed to treating Dok Rae, and she also didn't mind that Dok Rae was Jong Sook's mother. At the hospital, Dok Rae accidentally meets Roy and thanks him for saving her daughter's life. They then have a brief conversation before Inho suddenly appears and tells Dok Rae that he will invite Dok Rae to a family dinner at a fancy restaurant. At the restaurant, Inho and Jong Sook pretend to get along to hide their family problems from Dok Rae. Inho even treats Dok Rae so well that his mother-in-law doesn't suspect that her daughter is facing a crisis in her marriage. On the other hand, A Sim accidentally meets Mr. Park who is having dinner with a woman. A Sim then got into an argument with the woman because she felt very jealous, but at the same time, the woman revealed to Dok Rae about An Ho who had cheated on Jong Sook and had a daughter from the woman who was his mistress. Unexpectedly, Soong Hee and Eun So were also at the restaurant for dinner, but An Ho immediately told them to leave so that the situation wouldn't be complicated by their presence. Worried about Dok Rae's health, Soong Hee invites Eun So to have dinner elsewhere, but Eun So wants to eat spicy snacks on the side of the road instead. Eun So then asked her mother why she was still dating In Ho when In Ho clearly had no intention of divorcing his wife and marrying Soong Hee. Therefore, Eun So suggested to her mother that they return to the United States and start a new life without In Ho in their lives. Upon arriving home, Dok Rae immediately scolded In Ho and returned all the expensive gifts A Sim had given to her. 
Dok Ray had been suspicious from the start because A-Sim was suddenly nice to her even though A-Sim had always underestimated Jong Sook because she came from a poor family. Dok Ray also scolded Jong Sook because Jong Sook kept all her problems to herself, even though she had just survived death and her health condition had not fully recovered. Dok Ray had then told Inho to sincerely beg for her daughter's forgiveness and would support whatever Jong Sook's decision regarding the problems in their marriage as long as the decision made Jong Sook happy. Soon after that, Jong Sook took Dok Ray back to the hospital for treatment. Jong Sook intends to meet Soon Yee to discuss her mother's health condition. But Jong Sook accidentally finds a medical journal about her mother's illness on Soon Yee's computer, which indicates that Soon Yee really cares about her mother and tries to cure her. After undergoing treatment, Dok Ray packed up her belongings and intended to move to another hospital because she didn't want Soon Yee to treat her. But Jong Sook managed to persuade her mother to stay and be treated at Gusan University Hospital because the hospital is one of the best hospitals in South Korea and is also the hospital where she works as a doctor. On the other hand, Soon Yee is surprised by Yi Rong who suddenly comes to her office to apologize for injuring Eun So's hand. Yi Rong tells Soon Yee that she will also apologize to Eun So, but before that, she wants to ask Soon Yee for a favor. Yi Rong then asks Soon Yee to end her romantic relationship with her father because she doesn't want to lose Eun Ho. Yi Rong also begs Soon Yee to heal her grandmother and in return, she won't apply to art school. Later that night, Yi Rong and Jong Min prepare a surprise for Dok Ray by buying a cake and expensive items because Dok Ray once told Yi Rong that she wanted to have a bag and coat like Audrey Hepburn wore. Dok Ray didn't expect Yi Rong to still remember her words clearly because Yi Rong wasn't even in elementary school at the time. Dok Ray seems so happy that she has a daughter and grandchildren who care and love her so much so that she doesn't think much about her illness. Unbeknownst to them, Inho sees their moment of togetherness and becomes moved, so he decides not to disturb their happy moment. Some time later, Soongi contacts her pros for acquaintance in the United States via video call to discuss Dok Ray's illness. After studying Dok Ray's examination results, Soongi concludes that Dok Ray has rheumatic polymyalgia and advises Jong Sook to keep Dok Ray in the hospital. Soongi also told Jong Sook to take care of her health because Jong Sook looked pale and lethargic. A few days later, Dok Ray's health condition improved after receiving treatment from Soongi and Dok Ray could return home if her condition had fully recovered. Jong Sook then thanks Soon Yi for healing her mother, however, Jong Sook insists that she hasn't forgiven Soon Yi for her affair with In Ho. Soon Yi then tells Jong Sook that Iran came to see her to apologize for hurting Eun So, and in return, Iran won't be applying to the art faculty. Soon Yi says that Iran doesn't need to feel guilty about the incident that hurt Eun So, and Iran also doesn't need to abandon her dream of studying at the art school. Soon Yi tells Jong Sook that their problems have made Iran and Eun So suffer, so she wants to find the best solution for their children. Soon after that, Jong Sook went to Inho at his office to submit a divorce application form to Inho because Jong Sook wanted to get a divorce without having to undergo a court hearing. However, Inho instead told her to file for divorce in court and asserted that he would try to stop the divorce even though it would drain his entire fortune. The following day, Jong Sook actually filed for divorce against Inho and the court had sent the documents related to their divorce suit. Inho immediately asked Jong Sook about the divorce, and Inho assumed that Jong Sook wanted a divorce from him so badly because Jong Sook had fallen in love with Roy. On the other hand, Roy got a call from the police station informing him that they had managed to find his biological parents. Roy seemed happy to hear that, and he then asked Jong Sook to accompany him to meet his family at the police station. Meanwhile, Jong Min was planning to enlist in the army, but the hospital administration staff suggested that Jong Min complete his residency first. Jong Min also expressed his intention to So Ra who was upset that Jong Min would leave her. However, Jong Min asks her to wait for him to return and not to look at other men, so they make up and So Ra hugs him. On the other hand, Dok Ray meets Soon Yi to thank her for healing her. Before leaving, Dok Ray gives an envelope to Soon Yi and saying that the envelope doesn't contain money. The envelope turned out to be a letter and in the letter Dok Ray told Soon Yi that she would live a better life after recovering from her illness and asked Soon Yi not to waste the opportunity to be a better person and mother in the future. Dok Ray also hopes that Soon Yi can find her true happiness and live with honor. The next day, Roy met his family at the police station and found out that his mother had passed away. On the other hand, his older sister told Roy that the reason they were looking for Roy was because their father had acute leukemia and needed a bone marrow donor. They hoped that Roy would be willing to donate his spinal cord to their father to save his life. Upon knowing that the family meeting was not going well, Jong Sook then invited Roy to run together to the hospital to cheer Roy up.
Upon arriving at the hospital, Jung Sook was told by her colleagues that she was honored as the best resident doctor for her hard work and dedication while working at the hospital. But unexpectedly, Jung Sook suddenly felt dizzy and coughed up blood. <laughs> Jong Sook immediately checked her health condition with Roy, and Roy suggested that Jong Sook might have acute liver failure or rejection of a previous liver transplant so Jong Sook had to undergo intensive treatment at the hospital. However, because she still had to finish her work and take care of some things, Jong Sook was forced to delay her treatment. Upon learning that, Roy advised Jong Sook not to delay too long or push herself too hard to work because her health condition would getting worse drastically. On the other hand, Roy was approached by his sister who told Roy to immediately donate his spinal cord to save their father's life. Soon after that, Roy asked Sora to prepare some liver function tests for the liver transplant surgery procedure because he was going to do a thorough medical examination. Sora wondered if Roy would do a liver transplant, but Roy didn't explain his reasons in detail so Sora chose not to make too much of it. Meanwhile, Asim got a phone call from the police station informing her that Mr. Park had committed a planned fraud and Asim was one of the victims. Not only did she lose the hundreds of millions of won that she had invested in Mr. Park, Asim also had to swallow her disappointment as Mr. Park ended their relationship, and preferred to be in a relationship with another woman. Asim then took Inho to a divorce lawyer to consult about the division of assets after their divorce. At that moment, Asim accidentally reveals to Inho that she owns a building using Jong Sook's name as the rightful owner because she wants to avoid taxes. Inho looks shocked to hear that, especially after the lawyer tells them that Asim could be imprisoned for five years or fined 200 million won because she deliberately used Jong Sook to avoid taxes. Inho becomes even angrier when he learns that Asim fell victim to an investment scam and took out a 300 million won loan using Jong Sook's name as the building owner. Asim intends to sell the building to repay the loan to the bank, and tells In Ho to explain everything to Jong Sook. Later that evening, In Ho went to Jong Sook to explain about the problems his mother was facing. But Jong Sook refused to sell the building and insisted that she would claim whatever was registered as hers even if she had no contribution in the purchase of the asset. Jong Sook then told In Ho to sell his house to repay the loan to the bank, and told him to move to a smaller house or to the suburbs if In Ho wanted to get a bigger house at a cheaper price. On the other hand, Dok Rae is surprised by the appearance of a drunk A Sim in front of her apartment. Since A Sim was too drunk and she couldn't drive her home, Dok Rae let her stay at her apartment. <laughs> The following day, A Sim told Dok Rae that her life had become more difficult since Jong Sook left home because she had always depended on Jong Sook. A Sim hopes Dok Rae can persuade Jong Sook to reconcile with An Ho, but Dok Rae insists that she only wants her daughter to have her happiness, even if it means Jong Sook has to divorce from An Ho. The following days, Jong Sook treats Mrs. Lee, a patient over a hundred years old whose health condition is deteriorating day by day. While Jong Sook tried to cure Mrs. Lee, her family told Jong Sook to let Mrs. Lee pass away because they thought that Mrs. Lee had lived too long and the whole family felt relieved if Mrs. Lee finally passed away. Soon after that, Jong Sook went to Dr. Lim at his office to apply for leave and revealed that her health condition was worsening. Because the liver that was transplanted to her was not functioning properly so she had to return to intensive care at the hospital. Upon learning that, Dr. Lin then discussed it with Soong Hee and the other doctors to decide whether they would accept Jong Sook back if she recovered or ask her to resign. On the other hand, Roy told Jong Sook that he intended to donate his liver to Jong Sook, and he had also run a series of tests to ensure that he was a compatible donor for Jong Sook. Upon hearing that, Jong Sook looked surprised because donating organs to others was not something that could be done casually, especially since Roy was not her family. However, Roy insists that Jong Sook is a very meaningful friend and co-worker in his life, so he will do whatever it takes to save Jong Sook's life. In the evening, Jong Sook packed up her belongings because she had taken time off to undergo treatment at the hospital. Jong Sook accidentally bumped into An Ho in the car park, and An Ho seemed to be upset about his mother's debt, so they got into a brief argument and he blamed Jong Sook. An Ho then met Soong Hee to borrow money to pay off his mother's debt, but Soong Hee instead told him about Jong Sook's deteriorating health condition and the possibility that Jong Sook would have to undergo a second liver transplant surgery. Meanwhile, Jong Sook made dinner for her family, and after dinner, Jong Sook revealed to them about her health condition as well as about her having to go back to the hospital. Her family seemed shocked to hear that, but Jong Sook assured them that she would recover soon and told them to think of good things while she was undergoing treatment at the hospital. On the other hand, Soong Hee tells In Ho that Jong Sook's health condition has worsened because the two of them have made Jong Sook suffer by committing despicable acts. Upon hearing that, In Ho looks devastated and feels very guilty because all this time he never considered Jong Sook as someone valuable in his life, but now he is so afraid of losing Jong Sook. 
and Ho then remembers the moments when Jong Sook seemed so happy with the little attention and gifts he gave her, and he then regrets that for more than 20 years of marriage, he never tried to make Jong Sook happy. The next day, and Ho went to Roy at his office and told him that he would donate his liver to Jong Sook. Shortly afterward, and Ho meets Jong Sook and tells her that he will donate his liver to Jong Sook, but Jong Sook thinks that and Ho is doing that so that Jong Sook will sell a Sims building. Jong Sook then reveals that she has contacted a real estate agent to sell the building and has included In Ho's phone number so that In Ho can negotiate with the potential buyer. However, In Ho insists that he will donate his liver to save Jong Sook's life because he doesn't want to lose Jong Sook who is the mother of his children. And Ho then kneels down and begs Jong Sook to give him a chance to make amends, but Jong Sook says that she won't blame anyone else, including In Ho, for her deteriorating health condition. Soon after that, Soon Yi met Jung Sook to apologize to her, hoping that Jung Sook could recover soon and return to work at the hospital. Jung Sook didn't expect Soon Yi to apologize to her at all. Jung Sook then praises Soon Yi for being kind and not arrogant when they first met at medical school and wonders if they might have been good friends if they hadn't gotten into a complicated relationship. Before leaving, Jung Sook tells Soon Yi that she wants to live a peaceful life and hopes Soon Yi will do the same. On the other hand, In Ho is very surprised to learn that Roy has undergone several medical tests and is potentially a compatible donor for Jung Sook. In Ho then rushes to Roy to demand an explanation about it, but they get into an argument until Jung Sook finally arrives to stop them. Roy and In Ho then ask Jung Sook to decide who is more suitable to be a donor for her, but Jung Sook instead points to a motorbike and asks Roy to take her for a ride. The following days, Soon Yi decides to take over her late father's hospital because it meant a lot to her father and Soon Yi doesn't want to sell it. On the other hand, Roy explains to Jong Sook that the treatment Jong Sook is undergoing is not very effective to cure her, so he strongly recommends that Jong Sook immediately undergo liver transplant surgery. Roy tried to convince Jong Sook to accept his liver because his compatibility with Jong Sook was quite high. However, Jong Sook didn't want to make others suffer because of him, so Jong Sook immediately refused Roy politely. Jong Sook then asked Roy for permission permission so that she could leave for a while because there were some things she had to do. After getting permission from Roy, Jung Sook then met Mihee and poured out all her feelings to her best friend who had always supported her to get her happiness. Jung Sook told Mihee that her mother blamed herself for her poor health condition, even though Ray didn't come to the hospital because she couldn't stem the sadness of seeing Jung Sook suffering from her illness. Shortly afterward, Jung Sook came to In Ho's house to pack up her belongings. Jung Sook also cleaned the house and prepared food for her family, then wrote letters to Jung Min and Yi Rong. Later that evening, Yi Rong and the others seemed surprised to find Jung Sook cleaning up the house, but Jung Sook said that she would be returning to the hospital soon. Jung Sook then delivers Soon Yi's message to Yi Rong and asks Yi Rong not to worry about her too much. Jung Sook also told Yi Rong to focus on achieving her dreams and finding her happiness. Soon after that, Jung Sook said goodbye to A Sim who was still trying to persuade Jung Sook to reconcile with An Ho. However, Jung Sook only responded by apologizing to A Sim because she couldn't be a good daughter in law until the end. When Jung Sook was about to go to the hospital, An Ho took the initiative to drive her because he wanted to discuss something important with Jung Sook. And Ho told Jung Sook that he wouldn't sell the building because it belonged to Jung Sook. In addition, and Ho also handed Jung Sook the divorce documents that he had signed, saying that he would divorce Jung Sook as well as donate his liver to Jung Sook to make up for his mistake that had made Jung Sook suffer. And Ho said that he was really afraid of losing Jung Sook, and even if they were divorced, and Ho hoped that he could still see Jung Sook occasionally because Jung Sook was the mother of his children. The following day, Soon Yi tells In Ho that she has resigned from the hospital as she will be managing her father's hospital. In Ho seems happy to hear that, and wishes Soon Yi all the best in the future since they've decided to end their relationship. Soon Yi also wishes In Ho and Jong Sook good health and happiness even though they have decided to divorce. On the other hand, Jong Sook accidentally met Eun So at the hospital because it was Soon Yi's last day working at the hospital. Jong Sook tells Eun So that Eun So is not the cause of their family problems and tells her to stop blaming herself. Jung Sook also tells Eun So to live her life happily from now on and do the things she wants without thinking about others. Upon hearing that, Eun So was visibly touched and could not stem her tears because Jung Sook still cared about her even though she and her mother had hurt Jung Sook and her family. After undergoing liver transplant surgery and having fully recovered, Jung Sook is seen attending a divorce hearing with An Ho where the judge then decides that they are officially divorced. After the hearing, An Ho invited Jung Sook to have lunch together. During lunch, they were seen reminiscing about the past when they were still a married couple, and Jung Sook then congratulated An Ho for being appointed as the new director of the hospital. Jung Sook seems so happy with An Ho's achievement, but An Ho doesn't seem too happy because he has divorced Jung Sook. 
After lunch, and Ho thanked Jong Sook for all of Jong Sook's sacrifices and dedication while she was his wife, while apologizing to Jong Sook that he had disappointed her and never made her happy. However, Jong Sook told In Ho that she also experienced beautiful and fun things while married to In Ho, and she would never forget that for the rest of her life. Before parting, Jong Sook invited In Ho to shake hands and wished In Ho happiness. On the other hand, In Ho also wished Jong Sook good health and happiness with her new life as a doctor and an independent woman. The following days, In Ho, who had become the director of the hospital, entered his new office and wished that Jong Sook and his children would come to the office to congratulate him and tell him that they were very proud of him. However, it's all just wishful thinking, because now In Ho no longer has an intact family and he can only lament about it. Meanwhile, Lee Rong accidentally runs into Eun So at the bookstore where she apologizes to Eun So for hurting her. However, Eun So doesn't seem to mind it anymore and instead congratulates Lee Rong for successfully passing the initial batch of entrance exams. Eun So tells Lee Rong that she'll be taking the final round of entrance exams, and if she doesn't pass, she intends to study abroad. Eun So finally admits that she approached Lee Rong on purpose because Lee Rong is her stepsister and intends to destroy Lee Rong's family. Lee Rong looks shocked to hear that, but she then tells Eun So that her parents are divorced. Upon hearing that, Eun So asks In Ho about In Ho and her mother's relationship, but In Ho tells her that they decided to to separate amicably. Even so, In Ho tells Eun So that he will try to be a good father to Eun So. However, Eun So hopes that In Ho will try to keep Soon Hee and not let her go. Upon arriving home, Eun So tells her mother that In Ho is divorced, but Soon Hee seems to have expected it and seems to take it in stride. The next day, In Ho accidentally runs into Soon Hee who is visiting Gusan University Hospital to discuss the cooperation between Gusan University Hospital and her hospital. At that moment, In Ho told Soon Hee that he had divorced Jong Sook, and Soon Hee said that she was the cause of their divorce. On the other hand, Roy finally expressed his feelings to Jong Sook, and Jong Sook thanked Roy for his sincerity and kindness. However, Jong Sook could not accept Roy's love because she could not imagine herself in a romantic relationship with Roy who was much younger than her. Jong Sook then told Roy to find his happiness and hoped that someday Roy would find his true love. Three years later, So Ra was seen entering a pharmacy to buy a pregnancy test, as she was worried that she was pregnant. On the other hand, Jong Sook successfully passed the motorbike driving exam because Jong Sook had always dreamed of riding a motorbike like Roy. In addition, Jong Sook has also completed her residency at Gusan University Hospital and received a certificate as a specialist doctor. Jong Sook then used the building given by Inho to set up a restaurant that provides healthy food, as well as setting up her own clinic located above the restaurant. On the other hand, Dok Ray began to pursue her hobby of taking care of plants and was grateful for everything until she no longer hated Inho and his mother. Meanwhile, Inho starts volunteering to help Soon Yi by operating on her patients. Although it was tiring, Inho did it sincerely because he wanted to do a noble deed to atone for his sins. The following days, Jong Sook gets a phone call from Mihi who informs her about Roy who is dating a woman. However, Jong Sook did not seem surprised to hear that because Roy had already told her about the woman when she had a routine checkup a few months ago. Despite being a specialist doctor and having her own clinic, Jong Sook always took the time to become a medical volunteer and went to remote villages to treat sick people for free. Jong Sook also gets help from In Ho, Jong Min and So Ra when she visits a village to provide house-to-house -house healthcare. At the same time, So Ra discusses her relationship with Jong Min and wonders if they have children. So Ra also reveals to Jong Min that she took a pregnancy test some time ago, but the result was negative. Jong Min looks shocked to hear that and is unable to say anything so So Ra assumes that Jong Min is unhappy if she's getting pregnant someday. But surprisingly, Jong Min says that he's too happy at the thought of them having a child that he can't say anything. Soon after that, Jong Sook prepares to start her journey to another remote location by boat. Before leaving, Jong Sook says goodbye to In Ho, Jong Min and So Ra and asks them to call her regularly. The drama ends by showing Jong Sook embarking on a journey to provide medical services to sick people for free and voluntarily, which also signifies that she has started a new journey in life, which is much better and meaningful than before. The moral that we can learn from this drama is to never stop trying to realize our dreams because it is never too late to start a new life and start walking the path to achieve our dreams. In addition, endeavor to forgive others whatever their mistakes because forgiveness is not for them, but for ourselves. So that we are not trapped in the past and have the courage and determination to move forward and start a new, better and meaningful life.